starting lineup for Chris Apollo's Podcast Experiment. Featuring from the mountains of Lindroff, New Jersey, he's the secret stash, Silver Fox, Mike Sapson. From Little Silver, New Jersey, at 6'2", the Yeti Man, Chris Mann. Hailing from Jersey City, standing at 6'3", but 6'9", if you count the afro, the big kahuna, Christian Corden. And now, the man you've all been waiting for, celebrating 14 years of podcasting, giving a big hello world to your host, Chris Apollo. Hello world. This is Chris Abalo's Podcast Experiment, and I am Chris Abalo. Welcome to the show. We have returned. For yeah. 2024, barely, kind of. Just a little popping. Just a little, yeah, we're just, just showing a, up. Just like a brief a, hello. A glorified cameo. Checking on if your If you mom. will. You know. Yeah, yeah, just to let you know that we're all still here. That's Giving right. Giving your undercarriage a little tickle. Renewing go. the OnlyFans subscription. That's right. You got to get a physical once a year. Yeah. There you go. That's yes. it. And right that's down. we're getting ours a little late in 2024, but it's happening. It's happening. That's yeah. all that we can ask for. At of least course. it's happening. We didn't At least it's the happening. Doctors. Well, and that's exactly it. Chris Abalo bringing the spaculum. <laughs> oh, we're going to get to some unused ideas a little bit later. But anyway, yes, if you, you probably, I mean, if, if this is your entry point, wow, you're in for a wild show. But uh, yes, all stars, once again, joining me for the... First show of 2024. <laughs> got a list. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've got a list. But I, well, mine doesn't have those instructions. We have a lot to catch up on. Um, All right. yep. Okay. But, uh, really? What to catch up on? I'm sticking by my list. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know some things never change. No, they never will, buddy. Never, not a never will. Years. Joining me <laughs> to once again embrace the chaos that is Cape. Please welcome back Christian Cordes. What's up? Chris Mad. Hello. And Mike Zapsick. Stop. <laughs> like, no. We're going to have to drag What's it out. What's going of him. on, man? Like, we're literally, he hasn't left work yet because he stuck around to do this. I know. What a. F- Fucking idiot I am. So, <laughs> I know. But hey, I love you, Chris. I don't do this for everybody. I know you he don't. He does not. You do not podcast no. with everybody, and you don't invite them into your place of employment. My sanctum. I yes. know. Which, if you don't know, if you can't tell, because they're like, where are they? They're, they're either in a storage facility or the Funko Museum or something. We are here at Jay and Tom Pop's Secret Stash, 65 Broad Street, Red Bank, New Jersey. Yeah. There you go. You paid for your hour. Good Thank you. There you go. Well, got to get the plugs in. Got to make this worthwhile to a degree. Uh, but don't come here and bother Mike. He's busy working. That's right. He's in the back. Don't ask for him. Have the people yeah, up front just ring you out. Gotta get those plugs in, Chris. Spend your money. Cape <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> is back. Did you miss us? <laughs> I, I say we collectively miss, miss each other. Did, yeah. really, you haven't missed us? It's been a long I've, time. I've, I actually have missed us. I have yeah, too. Well, that's been great. See, I, obviously, there is a lot to say. Go ahead. No, no. We always, have, just honestly, just we always have a fun time whenever we do this show. We do. Well, th- that's it. And it, there wasn't. Just so everybody knows kind of what's going on, and uh, it's already be redundant for you guys who I've already kind of spoken to in bits and pieces over the last nine, ten months. But, uh, yeah, so 2024, there was literally no plan. I, I initially thought, maybe I'll take the year off because, you know, the last, you know, doing 2020 through 2023, it was a lot. And it was 140 episodes, and I'm like, you know what? Let me back away from it because, number one, I feel like there's – Things kept going, like the incline kept going up. The show was just getting better and better as far as I'm concerned. And uh, my name's on it, so it's the only one who matters. But I thought, so we could keep doing the same thing week in, week out. But also, one of the things that marked um, particularly 2023, a little bit of 22, is that everybody just collectively has been so busy. Like, we're all just, I mean, we, we kicked off the first show last year, Mike and Christian and I talking about that. Everybody just, we all feel like we're just, running in place, just trying to maintain the life we had pre-COVID. So it's, 
it has been challenging. So even just coordinating, getting everything together. I mean, honestly, this is the third time we tried yeah. to do this particular show because the previous two times just things fell apart. And that's just how it is. So I thought, well, do I just keep doing the show in some form for the sake of just continuing to do it? Or do I step back and kind of regroup and um, at the same time figure out what else I want to do? Because, you know, there's a point where if I just want to do it week after week, you know, it could, it could fall off and, yeah. and, and then really the, start and then to suck. The, and then the third option was, uh, was just kidnap us on a, uh, on a particular night. There's a gun right out of frame. People help us. See, that would That's be true. That, yeah. that would be good as a bit, but unfortunately now when everything is drastically <sighs> misconstrued, like in the nineties on a public access show would totally work. Now in the, in the modern era, it'd just be like, Oh my God. If it was a live stream. call SWAT. If it was a live Won't stream. Somebody help that brown boy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the diversity <laughs> rating. We Come all, on. We all know he's going to be the first one to go. We've seen every single movie. Horror movie. He's the whistleblower. Also anything. Jurassic yeah. Park. Yes. Jurassic Park. Oh my God. Damn it. So what? All right. I write myself out already. All right. Boo. Bye. And I'm back. I'm security now. Yeah, right. <laughs> he took a Sharpie and scratched out the I-N at the front of that word. <laughs> but anyway. Security. So we, you're, you're welcome, dude. So, I mean, it's wow. no fuck you, Chris, but it was pretty good. So, yeah, uh, actually, Christian had the idea when I, you know, spoke to him as, as kind of like unofficial second in command. Like, oh, when I said, I don't know what I want to do with the show. He was like, maybe you should just do a couple of specials. You know, like once in a while, do a, a special episode, and I'm like, that's a good idea. Like a campy Christmas episode? No, well, see, no, like Kimberly gets her period episode. That'd be oh, great. like an after school I, special. Yeah. I, I don't the think special specials from back in the day. <laughs> I don't know that the four of us should be the ones giving that kind of advice. No. What are you will talking Natalie about? lose her virginity when she goes away from Mrs. Garrett's? Tune in next week. I was, that joke's for everyone over 35. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> that so, joke's going out to Missy Kunkel. Missy, <laughs> wow. you're a great kid. Uh, you were. <laughs> now you're a great silver AARP member. Anyway, so oh, wow. Christian said you should just, you know, why don't you just do like occasional specials rather than do the weekly thing? And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's see what's going on with, um, you know, get people together around something. And then we all get busy. And there's a, a lot of stuff going on. I had a whole, I had like seven ideas for like, we could do this special, we could do this special. Maybe like one a month every six weeks. And it just didn't come together just because life. And life because, be life -ing. because once a month every six weeks, that, that's, the math is completely fucking off right there. <laughs> well, I'm saying <laughs> all in. Well, gotcha. doing for not I, every I, six I, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I said I had seven <laughs> ideas. I would have come up with something. <laughs> gotcha. Over the, over the I, I love it. I want that Trust me, I love it. That's that's a great bumper sticker. There you go. <laughs> really? Mr. I do this once a month every six weeks. Mr. 12 to noon over here. There He's going to give go. me that's shit right. about my verb. Damn straight. It's 12 to noon, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Or noon to 12, whatever it was. It was good. Classics. It was awesome. We're, it's a little inside baseball right now. We apologize. But nonetheless, uh, <laughs> And I even thought, well, you know what? There's a bunch of, maybe what I should do is mix things up because there are a bunch of unused ideas. Things we haven't done that I was like, well, maybe we do those. Break those out for 2024. Um, Mike and I talked about in the Halloween live stream in 2022. Talked about colonoscopies. Oh. because Yeah. Oh, because I went through one. Oh. Yes, in and I'm, I will be going through them. And we were talking about having like, like, do we do a live stream the night before during prep? Oh, oh wow! Well, we, gonna, do, we would do all we... have to like have our shit together and pardon not, the pun. Yeah, or don't. I don't fucking care. Can so, we go yeah. to one doctor? Just one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just well, get it done in a row. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know that it's like a couple's <laughs> massage. Yeah, that, like so a bunch no. of us could go in at once. It's calming music. And we it, all hold hands. That'd be no, something. It's <laughs> like they use one camera and they just threw it through all of us. <laughs> like. Coming through. Just Hot human stop. centipede it. Coming through. <laughs> We're Look out. The bundle. Hello, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. In one's ass, out the next mouth, in the next ass, oh, out no, the mouth. No, we're not I doing mean, that, no. No, we are not doing that. That's got to be that. some camera. But it'd, be, it'd be a very peculiar frame of the camera. We we don't we would only see. They'd just have to like give us a really good deal on the bundle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but didn't somebody do that? It was it was either right. on a I mean, sitcom. If, was it on a sitcom? If nothing else, there has to be a group on. For some, I mean, <laughs> where they all went and they all had they, they all hung out and drank their. Yeah, I feel like that was a thing pretty recently. Yeah, it might be. I know Rhett and Link. And yeah, I, Rhett did and they Link really? Did yeah, yes. they did. 
See, every good idea someone's already done. Damn. Damn. No, but I I mean, I'd still do it. I mean. Oh, I would too, because we're doing it as ourselves. We're not doing it as like a stunt. It's like, no, we're legitimately having this done and we just want to coordinate. I mean, you guys are welcome to join in, even though you're you're a little short in the tooth to get those done. No, trust me. You you never know, man. You never know. I I agree. I agree with that. Because, uh, God. I was going to say, that's, it's a universal thing. We're all oh, going to yeah. have to go through it. And, well, totally. Sucks well, to I'll be... start them early. <laughs> yeah, why not? Hey, you <laughs> might like it. Started. You might be like, hey, you know what? I know I'm, I don't have to go back for another 10 years, but. <laughs> hey, Could have hey, been in my 40s when something? I learned this. Can you do this again next year? <laughs> you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I made a, an appointment for, you know, two months from now. So yeah. there you are. Like, Best hey, sleep hey, I ever had, though. <laughs> really was. I've Best taken up sailboating since because, yes. No, and, and that's it. Like the the drugs definitely. Oh, that, that's worthwhile. I mean, as you 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 did the hard sell on them. I'm telling oh, you, I, I so thought amazing. like so. I don't know about coming. So I do. I give him my money, like my number after, or does is there like a wine and dine beforehand? Or is I it just think come no. In, they get they done send and... you a muffin basket. You're fine. Okay. I mean, brand yeah. muffin. They really want to make sure yeah. everything's out. Oh. Of exactly. It's the brand muffin beforehand. <laughs> He's like, and I, then I lost my class ring. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find that forever. Listen, Doc, you take a second look. I don't want to set off any alarms at the airport. <laughs> they would but, not let me on the plane. I just kept buzzing. Yeah. yeah. Something's in there. Doc, where are all your rings? How about your watch? All right. Is everything accounted your for? Your doctor does your exam inventory? with his rings on? You're going to the wrong doctor. No. I mean, well, listen, only the Whatever. prostate exam. Uh, <laughs> what? Doesn't everybody get two fingers? All right, anyway. So... That was an idea, and I thought, oh, maybe we'll do that this year, but it just kind of hasn't come up <laughs> doing the colonoscopy I wonder special. why. I mean, well, I mean, it's something we actually need to coordinate. That requires actual planning, and we're not very good at that on this show. Like, here we are, however many minutes in, we've barely gotten anything, but that's okay. So there was another idea that I considered. Christian, I did open a folder of, of unused cape ideas. I actually do save a lot of things that we talk about that don't get used. Mm-hmm. And Christian, you had an excellent idea which was start off the calendar year with every week a different female guest host and call it Cape Presents Vaginuary. And I actually thought that's a really fun idea. Maybe we'll do that in 2024. You don't remember that at all, do you? Because that's the kind of stuff I save and I'm like, we're going to do that. So Vaginuary may come. Did I actually but say you that? Actually, I swear to you, you said that. You pitched it, it to me as an idea. You know what you should do. And I'm Chris, like, I like it. Chris, wait, look, like, did I actually say that? Of course. You say, listen, don't buy this innocent youngling <laughs> act wait wait a for second. a moment. No, like, this no, kid no, 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 no. is I, very. <laughs> wait a second. Because I. He does the show I hungry all tell. the time. So in the middle of wink. No, I swear. That's not a joke. I just promise you it's not a joke. <laughs> you, you legitimately pitched that. He thinks I'm doing a bit. I'm not I doing do a bit. you're doing a bit. It's not a bit. I, you when legitimately. Did I say this? I, you, we were out eating somewhere, <laughs> which is probably why. <laughs> 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 I, I swear, dude, I, I hand on my heart. That is not a bit. You pitched me vagina. Were you at like Hooters? Oh my God. And it's the only thing that makes sense. What? That's completely within your range. Again, no, I, 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 I totally agree. <laughs> we were having I'm a great like, time. <laughs> He's like, I would not give that to you. I would sell that to you. <laughs> no, we were. Uh, oh, yeah. We were talking about some heavy ass stuff. And then I was like, you know what we should do, Chris? Well, we were. Oh, ultimately, oh wait a minute. Hold on. I remember that night we were over at Takaholics. There, well, the January. The January. Oh my God! Yes. yes. Two witnesses. Yes. All right. Uh, so you said it. It was you. <laughs> oh that was not. It. You know what? That says a lot about me that he thought I was setting him up like it was a joke. Actually, but, I mean, I'm not mad about it. But I'm it, not I, mad either. I'm just like. I'm, why would you be mad? I'm, no, you're the one, you're the one making idea. the accusation. I just don't remember at all. Like, like that's. I don't know. I no. feel like you you spend so much time being hungry that when you eat, it's like giving somebody an empty stomach alcohol. Like. It, <laughs> Like the, it all, the, well, the, the taco went to his head. just falls away. Yeah. And it's like, know, oh my God, it's, it this General really Tso's annoying. taco is amazing. And the January, yeah. I just love the sound of that. The January. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> and I know so, I'm not going to like upset any women out there because you don't have many women watching. So how dare you? I dare. He did dare you. <laughs> I, I, dare, I dare you. There, I, more, I, more I double you dog think. dare you. Uh, more not than you would think. In, mostly in Wisconsin. So thank you for. Have we reached Triple Dog Wisconsin. there yet or no? <laughs> not, yet. not yet. Not yet. We're not very yet. early in the show yet. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to Triple Dog. In typical K fashion, we got another two and a half hours left. So we'll ratchet up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, don't, there. I don't skip social etiquette. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think he's here? Yeah, seriously. 
So anyway, as time went on, I'm like, well, we got to do something. I don't want to not do anything. So, kind of for well, the year. we so haven't, doing? you're still, you're Go still ahead. burying the lead here. I'm sorry. With the Vajanuary. Are, are you going to do it? <laughs> Did it I, at some point we will. No, it has not. Okay. But because again, 2024, I initially was just going to take off and I'm like, well, we'll figure it out. And then, I mean, honestly, I had a slate of specials lined up if we did the one in June that, that ended up not happening. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll do one a month for the rest of the year because then that would legitimately be seven specials. And I said, that would be really good. But just didn't come together because summer was busy and summer flew by. Thank God, because weather was abysmal. But I honestly just I was like, yeah, we should do something. And this is kind of unofficially like a birthday show for me because we've never actually done one. Yeah, uh, it's just that's my weird. Birthday's in like October. a whole decade. I, yeah, after all this time. Um, really? I am pretty surprised. Yeah, we never did. We were supposed to do one three years ago when I turned 40, but you know, certain participants are who they are and the way they are. And uh, that ended up becoming Cape 200 when we did the, the quiz show and all that other stuff. So we were supposed to do one three years ago and it didn't happen, but otherwise- Cause it, cause it, you didn't want to start day drinking again? I mean, I would have preferred that as a way to kind okay. of lube everybody up. Just asking. I'm not trying, you know, to, I'm not trying to poke any no, bears. That's why the, I'm not trying to pee on a hornet's nest. I'm just asking. I think you might be. Excellent. <laughs> that's, again. That's me. Very on brand. I'll try it once, but I don't think the hornets are going to be happy. Probably no, not. No, 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 no. No, I mean, yeah. ultimately it's And you'll you. know. You, they'll find a way. To, they'll find a way to communicate. It's it to ultimately you. you who's and not happy. And why is Chris mad in the hospital? Like pissed on the fucking hornet's nest. Yeah, exactly. Let me tell you. And what's about weird what is that he did it a second time. Yeah. Doc, listen. While he's in here, how much for the four of us to get colonoscopy? <laughs> <laughs> Do you he's have bunk beds? He's Can already we get one room oh. with bunk beds. He's already unconscious, Doc. <laughs> what's it gonna take? <laughs> I kind of, oh my God, what if we did that? We had a place with bunk beds and the four of us, that'd be a hell of a live stream, I gotta say. What, bunk I'm beds? tuning into one, bunk. one bathroom. No, you're invited. <laughs> oh, oh, even better. You're gonna participate? Oh, and we okay. could all fight over one bathroom. It's gonna be like that scene in Bridesmaids, right? Where everybody, they end up having to share the bathroom and uh, all kinds oh, of bad stuff happens at the bridal shop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the sink will be a goner for sure. There's windows. There's there's idea. so many beautiful places. Got to get you on a piss tour across the world, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Got to hang dong in different places in different Maybe, scenic um, locations. That, listen, that is not... I, 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 <laughs> let me tell you something. The Cape Road Show, I have had more people approach me about the Cape Road Show and Cape Fest, which was a, a, all a joke, but it wasn't. The last time you were on the show, two years ago, I have I had still more... still think that's a good idea. It, well, yeah, it will happen. Absolutely. And that was another thing. It was like, oh, maybe because it didn't come together last year because... Uh, we had the premiere of, of our short film. And uh, that's why that kind of came off the table because I'm like, oh, we got at least one film festival for sure, possibly two others. And I just didn't want there to be too much going on. So I was like, no, we can't do Cape Fest this year because I'll I'll implode. Like, I know I'm not gonna be able to juggle all this. Like, if everything happens, I'm not gonna be able to handle all of it. I only have so much bandwidth. So having said that, People said, are you going to do it this year? I'm like, eh, but we haven't really been doing the show. So it'd be kind of weird to all of a sudden do a show for a podcast that's not currently active. Like 226, 2026, 226. Maybe. Well, it could be next year. could be a year from now. could be like next that. October. Thinking, okay. But I'm, I've thinking, had, I'm thinking 2026. Go ahead. We go to um, Cape Canaveral. Is it uh, Cape Kennedy or Cape Canaveral? Cape Canaveral. Days? I think it's both. All right. Let's we can go, go to, to Cape May. Cape May would be cool. How about uh, Cape Chardot? Let's go. That's, that? that's out in. Um, why don't we go to? Is Cape? that in France? Why don't we no, go to here? May in oh, Cape Oh, because that because that ain't oh on God. brand. Why? You pitched for January. You never picked. You never pitched Cape May. <laughs> why have we never done that on this yeah. show? <laughs> oh my God! It I just clicked. Just, yeah. Did, did I, no sorry. one just pick up on that? No. Cape, oh, we should do one on Cape Cod. That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, it literally would be the Cape Road Show. Which again, I we multiple people capes. do well. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Let's go to a lot of capes. I mean, I'm down for it. Yeah, that's we, not a bad what was idea. The, what was the name of the place in the fog? Uh, that ooh, was, ooh, that was like Cape something, right? Yes. Mm. Go ahead, Christian. You're, you get to be in you know, that. Week. I could put in my hand. Um, I could look shit up. I know. Yeah. I, I wish someone would invent something like that, but thank God they didn't. Yeah. Imagine where we would be. Oh, we would just be on our <laughs> fucking phones all the time. Imagine that. Is that be on I'd, our little handheld devices. I saw a comic today and it was two birds in a tree and they're looking at, you see a silhouette and you're just like, is that a person? He goes, no, it's a scarecrow. And the other bird says, how do you know that? He said, because if it was a human to be looking at its phone. <laughs> I'm like, actually, that holds up. You know, Chris, that, does that, that man, mean good. that yeah. you personally out. believe that technology has peaked <laughs> in 2024? Hold on. 
Let me see about that. <laughs> You're going to see it's after washing your ass. I don't know. It's gonna be, yeah, colonoscopy <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Pretend Christian came oh, wait, up with Mike, the January. The is, there, is it on here? <laughs> did, did, did you actually make that up, or did I actually say that? Like, just Christian, I, hand on my heart. Mike, Christian, Mike heard it. Christian, I was I there. He said we were. We met over at we had Talkaholics. At Talkaholics. Pre show, right? Pre show. It was well, yeah, because it closed like because it was like yeah. two years ago, <laughs> right? And because somebody was still a part of something. And uh, <laughs> we it was we were pre showing we were pre gaming we're pre yes pre game tacos and then we pre game yes, tacos pre show talk I know we should you know, if I were if I were better at this we would have done that tonight we would have met up early no uh, well time. I mean I well, you no, were, you were, were, well, we would have brought you something <laughs> I mean <laughs> while they were setting up you could have had 10, 15 minutes to say how's a couple <laughs> of I thought times. you said you could have had 10, 15 tacos I'm like. I mean, fucking ma- kind of monster do you think I am? <laughs> I was just like, angry one. <laughs> yeah, like Orson Welles eating with both yeah. hands. It's kind of what I'm picturing in the back office. But That's right. Well, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I'm not saying you're right or wrong. All right, listen, I'm not passing judgment. We don't do that on the show. We, we do not judge. We do not kink shame. Fuck, we do not. We, well, okay, well, we and we kink shame. Oh, I'm judging God. tech in 2024 because it peaked, Chris. <laughs> yes, right. Chris Matt brings up an excellent point out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that was a very that, smooth segue. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, because <laughs> someone got hogtied by tacos in January. If you're going to get hogtied by anything, I would... By the January. January. <laughs> hogtied by tacos. <laughs> hogtied by tacos. <laughs> Somebody got hogtied by tacos should just be the description. The one night only special. Hogtied by tacos. Man, like, hogtied by tacos. <laughs> somebody somebody, coming somebody in, got hogtied. Coming that's, in the January. That's the, that's the, <laughs> I've seen that's that movie. The, yes. I would totally see that movie. John Lance. Um Wow. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, do we have to That's kind of where I'm at. What? Because look at how big and beefy these things are. Uh, well, wasn't the point to get smaller? Wasn't the point no, to have No, we like, wanted to have well, them. They're, they're bigger, but they all look the same. I mean, granted, Mike's got a different color case, but like you can't tell. I mean, the cameras all look the same. The pictures aren't different. Because everyone's talking about like, the iPhones. I, like, I've had this conversation with a couple of people. They're like, should I get the iPhone 16? And I was like, no. Why? Now, I, I don't, I'm not an iPhone user, but I just said, look, nothing's different. Like all smartphones are the same. The cameras are all comparable. The operating systems are the same. Like it's just it's Apple, it's Android. That's it. Yeah, you know, there's like not the, the, nothing. Nothing has gotten better. And you know, right on the back of like, for instance, uh, the way. And I, I've honestly enjoyed this. Now I like the convenience of streaming as much as everybody else. Um, and I get it. I, I I'm down for all of it. However, I am enjoying watching the bottom drop out of that because people are realizing, oh, it doesn't mean I have access to everything ever forever. <laughs> because I pay a subscription fee. It's like, I'm no, stuff's not available. Like, stuff jumps services. I'm surprised that that's like a revelation now because that's always been a thing. Of, of course. course. But people didn't people didn't think that's how it was. People are stupid. Exactly. I mean, not you people. Of course, you're, smart. you're smart enough stupid. to watch us. But for, for the most part, human beings as a species, we are not terribly bright. Mm-hmm. That we're like, oh, I'm getting it. And I swear to God, and I, I have... I'll people, ignore the iceberg warnings. People, exactly. People all come up to me and are like, what do you get DVDs for? What do you get Blu-rays for? You're a moron. You get it on streaming. It's a lot easier, a lot faster. It's, can, we we tend to confuse um, simplicity for the better option. Yes. The convi- convenience is, exactly. is the best. Is because guess what? Um, so I, I love Airplane. I love the Zucker brothers and right. Jim Abrams. Love them. They're fantastic. They're they're hilarious. Now, what streaming service can you watch Police Squad on? None. Oh. But guess who has the Blu-rays? I do. So, so do I. I bought them too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I knew you. I knew you were setting of yourself up. For yeah. Pat so, on the back. But of course. Well, I, I was going to pat. I was going to pat you on the back too. Because well, thanks. Yeah. Shall we? Be- Just graphic. Graphic. For the oh yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Nice. Thank there you. Thanks very much. I like that. Yeah. Nice. Right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That's. I Hot. Felt, I felt the vagina going. Um, so yes, that's like that you own. Of course, that you've got. So I that, don't need to sweat it. I yeah. love. I can watch police. It's in your library forever. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, but I've gotten it. Like people see. I I genuinely I have two 
Yeah, I guess you guys have said, well, none of you guys have come to my play. Man, you're worse friends than I thought. No, but I have I've never been invited. I don't know about racks. you guys. You can, there's an open invitation anytime you're in North Jersey. We, go to, we go to Rudd's yeah, Hut. Well, there we you go. go to, That's the first time I've ever heard you invited. Shit. Oh, God. Cr Chris, oh, God, I, we can I go. have a body. It's 3 in the morning. I got to go somewhere. Actually. <laughs> yeah, that, he'd be your first call. He should be. Why wouldn't he be? I mean, I'd kind you're gonna of be call me? if I wasn't. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'll oh walk you guys through it. I'm like, yeah. tunnel straight down. Go yeah. First off, before you do it, make sure there are no pipes there. Just make sure. No no pipes, no... <gasps> Cable. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Don't, don't fuck with that shit because that's going to get you caught. But go straight down. Don't go across. Six down? No, no you go Six like... Six months ago, I would have... This would have been down. so helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And hence, why we're doing a cape special. He should have called me. You, you I should have been his first phone call. And so, then, then you take the acid and you burn off your fingerprints. I have two spinner racks. <laughs> I have that are taller than I, well, about as tall as me. So like two six foot four sided spinner racks with DVDs and Blu-rays and 4K mm -hmm. discs. And people are just like, oh my God, that's crazy. Why do you, because I don't need to worry about it. Yeah. You know, I own it. I don't need to worry about stuff not being available for streaming. I don't need to worry. And look, I, I have some stuff digitally, and obviously a lot of stuff comes with digital copies. So I got sure. a substantial digital library. But for the most part, I will buy stuff on disc, so I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to look around for it. Like you just mentioned, the, the Zucker Abrams, Zucker movies, and which are coming out in a box set, the Zazz box yeah, set. Yeah, funnily enough. Did you see that? Ooh, there um, it is. Oh, yes, yeah. it's oh. Airplane, Naked Gun, and Top Secret on 4K. Oh, oh Top okay. Secret. Um, top Secret's impossible to find, except exactly. Amazon. Except Amazon in, like, crap. Right. Yeah. No, uh. the, well, that's the other thing. I remember I was I watched, uh, just, again, for convenience, the first Beverly Hills Cop on Paramount, and I'm like, this looks horrible. And I popped in the Blu-ray, mm -hmm. which was freshly remastered at the time, and it looked beautiful. And I just thought, see, this is... Or, Another one, The Odd Couple. That, and, and that, then you that don't came out on Blu-ray in like 2013. And I'm like, this mm. looks better than the streaming version. That and then now. sometimes you then you don't have to worry about uh, Wi-Fi issues because sometimes Buffering. you know what ends up happening. Buffering. Oh my God. Yeah, because you know that because sometimes you'll put you'll put on a movie and for like the first 10 minutes it'll look like shit because your either your Wi-Fi hasn't adjusted or something's going on. Totally. And then or you got to clean your reset. glasses and you don't realize it. Mm. <laughs> Mm, I see yeah. what it is. All that size your frames is a popsicle stick, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Oh my God! You, now, see, Christian, I didn't. I just attacked the filth of your sun, your glasses. Yeah, he just <laughs> called you dirty. I just referenced your broken glasses from two years ago. So yeah, I said asshole. I said you're dirty. He said you're 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 poor. So <laughs> you should punch him, not me. You know, as as a, just because you're dirty doesn't mean you're poor. You could just be a, a slob. I don't know, man. As something of an employee of yours, I feel like you own a little bit of that. So, <laughs> actually, something. To I be honest something. with you, I didn't train him, <laughs> so I blame the guy who did. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, here's something I remember that's really cucked a lot of streaming related things. I'm sorry, you said it cucked. It literally took my wife and fucked her in front of me. It cucked. Oh man, that's insane. You should not have that uh, be allowed. But go, Netflix go to town. has it in their terms and services. How uh, crazy is that? Most of that, the streaming that they, things. They can come to your house Listen. and fuck your wife. That's it. Wow. Listen, if you want to finish those arc, you do what you're told. <laughs> Michael Bateman's gonna get a little bit of the cut. All right. Uh, oh songs. God. It, really important songs don't have licensings anymore, yes. and they're completely released with uh, AI like, garbage. AI the worst. Local bands. And, the worst. Now, uh, I, I, well, that is that's a very real thing. Is that that's kind of where we are anyway? Because there's I, I was speaking to a filmmaker who was um, looking to license a Sinatra song for an independent film. Good Literally was a million dollars, which was much more exponentially more than was spent on the film. One song, a million dollars. Oh and yeah. I'm like, oh. yeah, that's nuts. No. Huh. So some licensing is out of reach. I remember that was a big thing that happened with when they first put out the first um, Beavis and Butthead compilation on DVD. Yeah. Um, when the, I'm, I'm two MTV shows, but when the state was putting out theirs, um, their complete series on DVD, some songs they couldn't get licensing for. for Daria so they didn't had to have the same it. ones. Exactly. So I, I get you know that that a is a hurdle. One, you know what's a big one now, and it's a really unfortunate? Scrubs. Scrubs. Yep. Really? Scrubs and uh, that's the first why season I've, of Supernatural. That's why I've got all those fucking things on DVD and Blu-ray. Yeah. So I can tell the you know those people to go fuck themselves. Yeah. And they're like, well, we're taking this off streaming. It's like, I don't care. Go ahead. Yeah. 
I still have a uh, functioning Blu-ray player and like 12 backups because, yeah. because fuck you. And right? I will say, as someone who a year ago finally sprung for a 4K player, because I've had a 4K TV for a while oh. now, but I finally got the player, there's zero compare. Like, you cannot compare a 4K disc versus 4K streaming. Like, 4K streaming looks like a Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. Like, I've literally switched between inputs at the same scenes just to check. I'm like, this isn't me, right? <laughs> and then go back to the couch, sit. I'm like... No, literally the colors are, and everything else like just doesn't look as good. And yeah, that's because of your Wi-Fi signal and everything else. But, you know, this idea that people are like, oh, this, I got notified a movie's missing from my library. Or like password crackdowns is a big thing, mm -hmm. which everybody fucked up because they signed up for Netflix once they found out. Like it was like 50 million people signed up. It's like everyone should have just said no. <laughs> and then nobody else would have done it. But now Disney's doing it. So now that's Also, nobody knows how to keep a up. good open secret anymore. Like people started making memes about it. Like Exactly. Like, well, now, having like 18 people on your Netflix account was a joke. Like yeah. it really was a meme. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like, you know, this is going to last forever, right, guys? You're going to fuck this up. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta change shit. Yeah, Cause, <laughs> exactly. Because I canceled a couple things and I got a, a phone call. Oh, I, did, did you change your password on on the the Netflix? I was like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, this is, are you uh, calling from Boise? <laughs> yeah, seriously, what's going on? I think it's an event in Boise this weekend. And I th I think that yeah, uh, my former business partner did put my password out there on, you know, Reddit. Really? For Netflix, but it doesn't work anymore because I don't have a Netflix password. I don't have Netflix. Right. Well, Because I, I was, I, like, done. You know, I, 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 if they come back and, you know, if they decide to do shit over here in Eatontown, mm -hmm. which I hear they're going to, well, um, then I might just re-up, but then nobody gets my password. Goddamn God right. Well, they won't me. let you. I mean, that was, that was part of the hurdle, like, when Netflix announced it, and I thought... Because the immediate family had one. My sister, myself, mm -hmm. my parents. Three different houses. And they're like, no, you need separate accounts. I'm like, get the fuck out. Like, I'm going to pay $23 per times person, three. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. I'm like, now they've they've changed it. Now you can add additional households for eight bucks. So that's okay. But I'm like, there's not $40 worth of shit on Netflix a month. I mean, there you know, really no, I, I mean, no offense, but I'm like, and what there, is worth And there that? was a time, there was a long time ago. Like yeah, when, they, when were the, they were the, they were the yeah. only plays, the, the only game in town. Yeah. yeah. When they were yeah. the only game in town, then there was all the fun stuff. Now oh, it's all, now it's all divided. Well, now it's it's and, it, and it's all spread out. Yeah. Like you would think, you know, you want to watch the Zazz movies, the aforementioned yeah. Zazz films. And you're like, well, the Paramount movies, they should be on Paramount Plus. Nope. They're on yeah. Peacock or something like another service. Like I thought that was part of it was you want the, you know, you want to watch the Harry Potter movies. Well, they're Warner Bros. You can watch them on HBO Max, inexplicably renamed Max. And nope, yeah, they're on Peacock. It's like, what? what? Why? That's but again, I own them. HBO Max. That's apparently going back to HBO Max. And that's another one where it's just like commercial free for $200 a year. I'm like, get the fuck out get of here, Get out of man. my face. I'm like, yeah, and what? I really wanted to. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. everybody's. That, well, that's the other thing. Everyone's prices are going up. And again, people are saying, wow, cable wasn't so bad. Gee, You're kidding. Gee, <laughs> you know? let's, let's go back to cable, everybody. Again, like you said, people are stupid. It's taking yeah. everybody by surprise. Like, wait, I'm going to have to pay for all these things? And I, I love the, the commentators. Like, how many streaming services do they expect we should pay? You don't need any of them. Yeah, I no. canceled a bunch. I canceled Netflix. You can watch I Pluto almost, TV all all day oh, if you dude, want. Yeah, yeah Listen, go to town. YouTube and Tubi get Tubi. more viewers than anyone else, and they're free and ad supported. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? But studios were stupid. They wanted to chase that Netflix money when they didn't realize their biggest competition for watching stuff at home was going to be YouTube, not Netflix. Yeah, but and, whatever. Uh, which I, is also why I always found it weird that. YouTube shifted We're competing away. with everything. <laughs> I always thought it was weird that YouTube shifted away from doing like original scripted stuff because like out of that came like Cobra Kai and a bunch of other crazy shows. And well, it because it was it was a YouTube re back before it was YouTube oh, Premium. It was the it was YouTube Red. Thing. Oh, so you could only yeah. Yep. So if right. you want to watch the latest Logan Paul sci-fi vehicle, like you could watch on YouTube Red. Oh Who's my paying God, for that? I completely So, yeah, this is Nobody like eight paid years for that ago. because we thought that that was stupid. It's like it's it still YouTube. Is. At, well, it, it was sort no, of like... No, it was at the, at the time. It was like but, Napster. Napster. Right. Nobody wanted to fucking pay for Napster. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're wow. we're being right. bad. <laughs> we're like, oh, this is awesome. Because we're like pirating. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, this is this is now fantastic. I'm getting it? away with something. Fun, right? Yeah, and then you're like, no, we're going to make you pay for it. And if they had done that, but they had done it like subtly, mm -hmm. like, yes, you can pirate as much as you want, but hey... Pay twelve dollars a, a year, but ultimately that's where we're at now anyway. Because people pay ten bucks a month for Spotify and listen to all the music they want. Yes, so, or you could Apple it, it Music, same thing. Even so, then, that's not necessarily true because Spotify 
doesn't, doesn't have, all, have the license- all the licensing for certain. Oh, that's course. true. And that's Neither does CDs. Apple Music. Yes, and exactly. That's why I still buy everything because I'm like, I don't want to. I don't trust any of these. I don't trust big tech to make everything accessible, accessible. to us. See, that's exactly. For, that's why I burn CDs, and people mm-hmm. are like that's fucking insane you're burning cd i'm like mm-hmm. i have a cd player yeah like i have it it's fun i can access CDs. it whenever i want and having said that as silly as it seems to like oh you're gonna pay for youtube that's crazy the best money i'd spend on a subscription is honestly youtube premium because youtube music's included mm-hmm. which is comparable to apple music or spotify mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. plus it works great for me since i have a lot of stuff that's not available for streaming so you can upload ten thousand songs from your library as part of your subscription, plus all of YouTube's ad free. And I get it for the whole family for 23 bucks a month. So hey. my parents, my sister, myself, we all use it. And I'm like, well, that's cheaper than, you know, my sister and I split a Spotify account. I think it would be like 15 bucks a month anyway. Ooh. And I'm like, we can listen to music and watch YouTube without ad, which now I never want to go back. I will say I'm, I'm spoiled brat when it comes to that now. Cause I'm like, I don't like when I see, when someone else pulls up a YouTube video and there's an ad in front, I'm like, what the fuck is this? How am I going to look up to how to use an AED on YouTube when I'm watching two ads? <laughs> well, that's exactly. Son of a bitch. But that's the other what thing. What is this? I, I tried to go and, and watch uh police squad mm-hmm. on YouTube and, no, it just yeah, it yeah. stops. Yeah. You only get like five minutes of it. Right. Because you like, could buy it, I think, oh. probably through Google Play. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then, yes. uh, or Apple TV. And it's like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. And that's what that's how they get you. The The Apple TV is, you buy, uh, I don't know, um, Chapstick, and I think they give you three months of Apple TV. So, <laughs> kind of, yeah. I keep getting uh, offers like through my, through Verizon, I'm, you know. Look, I'll I will say, say through my, what I do like, like about Apple Through TV my colonoscopy also, guy. <laughs> I, I think so. Like I bet TV. we could get a couple of months of Apple TV no, free with our colonoscopies. Exactly. We could get a whole year out of it if we all go in together. <laughs> that'd be nice. A year to that'd, 18 that'd be, months. That'd be sweet. Uh, can you imagine that they're like, you know, do you, do you want your uh, colonoscopy to be high def or standard def? Well, like, we have analog <laughs> or we have the new digital colonoscopy. Yeah, yeah, so you do that. Oh, that's good because my first colonoscopy was 8-track and I didn't like it at all. Rough quality. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be a little skippy, a little bumpy. I got to tell yeah. you, mine was real to real. So that was rough. Yeah. I passed on the beta, but the A track was no good. <laughs> oh, my God. But, you're uh, 35. You got that one again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's for the older people. Ironically, these two don't qualify. And yet, they know exactly what we're talking about. Why? <laughs> That's true. Because we grow them different around here. So. That's right. It's, uh, in the, it's in the but, water. Uh. But no, the ad thing, I, I do have to laugh because. Everything is just overall, and I get ads pay the bills. You know, radio and TV, traditionally, you know, FM, radio, broadcast TV, of course I've had ads that pays the bills. I get that. But I mean, now, at this point, and I, I've seen people complain about this, so this isn't like, uh-oh, you know, old grumpy drawers is back. No, no, this is legitimately seen people complaining about it, where they're like, all I see on Instagram now is ads. If I scroll, I get an ad in between every post. Mm-hmm. If I watch stories, I'm looking at two ads in between mm-hmm. people's mm-hmm. stories. TikTok is basically the home shopping network now. Anytime I open up, and I don't use the app a whole lot, but when I open it up, it's literally alive and people selling some cheap TikTok plastic shit. shit. Yeah. And it's like, is this all this is for now? Is just selling shit? That's yes. what yep. everything, <laughs> yeah, that's what everything feels like. I'm like, so th- this isn't even fun, like for what it was supposed to be anymore. Like, and no. shittification. Yeah. That's, no. the, that's the thing. You make it things really, shittier until they're just useless. Yeah, man. It, that's, and that's pretty much it. And that's what's going to happen. And I swear to God, it's going to be one of those things where, We'll be calling each other up, going, "Hey, Chris, why don't you why don't you come on over? We're gonna watch some Police Squad." Mm. And, uh, and you'll I'm be like, for "Fuck that. you! I'm staying home and watching <laughs> some Police Squad." I have, I have <laughs> I've done that. I've done that with friends. I'm like, we need to have like a watch party because there's a bunch of movies that aren't streaming that, of course, I own on disc. Yeah. Some that have have never gone past DVD, that never gotten a Blu-ray release, and aren't streaming. And I'm like, you know, come over and let's let's watch it. But that's let's happening more and more now with even newer modern movies. Like there was a great horror movie that came out last year called Barbarian that is yet yeah. to see. Yeah, that, never got, that hasn't gotten got a physical got a release. Zach Yeah. 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 Oh, and man. I'm just like, that movie was a huge success and it doesn't warrant any sort of physical release. There, there was one that was just, it's same, it's, it's a single word title. I forget what it was. It came out in like 2019 and Shout Factory licensed it. It's finally oh, coming on disc. Yes. Hush. That's, that's yeah. a great movie. People were carrying on about it. never had a release, but thankfully one of the catalog companies, Shout Factory, uh, licensed it, so it's finally getting a 4K and Blu-ray release because, yeah, people have been clamoring for it, which I don't know. I'm waiting for the turn, you know, now that every movie is, like, only in theaters, you know, after everybody rushed what was supposed to be theatrical releases to streaming or dumped them on streaming is more realistic. Yeah, dumping them. I- I'm waiting for the ads to change where it's like, 
own it on Blu-ray and 4K. The best way to watch this. And they're like steering away from the streaming thing. But they had had that for a, for a period of time. They, that's like, what that financed. That was part of the... That was part of the marketing for Without a long Without a doubt. Time. And it was and it is really funny because it was something that I had spotted from the jump even mm-hmm. with Netflix was when they started like acquiring movies for like exclusive releases on their mm-hmm. platforms. Like I I just knew from the jump I was like this is just direct to video with extra steps. Like, yes. Yeah. It's, yes. it's the, it's it, the it, same it is. thing. It's like, the sa- it's 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 like and they become made for TV movies. Like yeah. as much as people say and I've had that discussion with people, you know, vis-a-vis our short film um, and other projects, like, would you, and that's an interesting question. And that kind of gets in the creativity thing, which is something I want, I want to ask you guys about, but they said, well, is it better to like have the, the uh, for lack of a better word, the prestige of a theatrical run, regardless of how much business it does, or to be able to have it go on a Netflix where millions of people will see it. And at least, you know, it's getting seen by people doesn't have the same prestige, but ultimately you want people to watch it and hopefully enjoy it. Like, would you trade the theatrical experience for that? And I don't know, I, I, as much as I would want something to play theatrically, you don't know if people are gonna show up, but if something is streaming, they're more likely to see it. Well, I mean, even on, t- there are a lot of filmmakers who put their, their features on Tubi and they're like, the revenue I make on a monthly basis from the ad support is more than if I just, you know, licensed it or, or sold it to like a Netflix or, you know, another service. So I've had to think about that, where I'm like, well, is it better to do go the traditional way, or do you make sure people ultimately see it? So I kind of get why, like, you know, David Fincher is doing movies for Netflix now and stuff like that, because it's like... Well, for well, him in particular, it. like, they just kind of cut him a blank check, and they're just like, do whatever you want. Yes. No, I, Whereas, I, I get that. But he's also a very cinematic dude, where, like, yeah. he, he wants his stuff to be seen on a big screen, though. Mm-hmm. So that's where I think there, there is a little bit of a trade-off there. And I don't mean that as a negative whatsoever. I just, I, one of the things that, uh, I know we were joking about it before, but Apple <laughs> TV plus, so like, I, like, I like their programming. Like I very much have been enjoying like their kind of, Oh my of God. Shows. It's like, amazing. Ted, yeah? Ted Lasso alone is worth my subscription oh, because, shit, because yeah. that show's coming back too. No, so, it's not. That's AI. That's, oh, that's bullshit. Are you serious? Oh. That's not that, And that's, that's the danger of AI right, right there. Right there, maybe. Is everybody's like, yeah, no, he's Jason yeah. today. Cause he's like, what could, what could I possibly say about Ted Lasso that, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't right. already we've, say. Yeah, we've done. And, oh. and, and I get it. I mean, I and I love Ted <laughs> Lasso. I can't believe Lasso. Yeah. Oh, that, dude, I, I, can, I, I, I can't that, and, believe it. And but, I've yeah. got to tell you, this is this is the trap we've set for ourselves. I told everybody, AI is bullshit. Yeah. AI yeah. is going to fuck everything up. And, and it has. It has, because yes. you cannot believe what you're seeing. Yes. Because there's and shit it's on there. I mean, better and better at a very scary rate. At an alarming rate. Oh, yeah. yeah. I kept getting recommended a trailer for Will Smith as Popeye. I'm not kidding. You can find it on YouTube. It's a completely AI generated trailer, live action Popeye. With I just Will got Smith one as for Popeye. Will Smith, too. And I'm like. And it was for a GTA San Andreas movie. Will Smith is exactly. really? Yeah, yeah, I got one weird. for uh, him in a, in a buddy cop movie with Chris Rock. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, AI is weird. Slap happy coming this fall. <laughs> that's that's how you know it's fake. Yeah, oh uh, hell yeah. But no, what I was saying though with that in particular streaming service though was that they're embracing the theatrical experience, even if it's not necessarily a movie that's worthy of it. They're still doing it. Like no. they they did Argyle, which I know yes. I know some people were mixed on that movie. It kind of sucked. It was it really did. Yeah, it, it's it, not a great movie. Uh, but it got a theatrical <laughs> well, release as well as a simultaneous streaming right. release, which but I was like, I like the option. Then again, the Kingsman, the the original. Mm. I mean, and I loved. Oh, those Kingsman movies are dope. The, I love, the, I love the all first one. I, I thought it was amazing. The second one, not so much. Yeah, but a lot of people didn't like the second one. Yeah, well, I hated it's the, the Matthew one. The only one Matthew Vaughn. Like. Yeah, third one. I was unwatchable. Yeah, it, I, it, I hated it. Um, and Ray Fiennes is. Ray Fiennes. That's actually like in three, Ralph Fiennes. Kingsman three. Yeah, Ralph there we go. And it's it's really Ralph Fiennes. Ralph. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Let, let's just call the fucking dude a dude. He's let's, he's Lord Voldemort. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nose so, or no nose. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like I recognize you or M. Uh, we're gonna yeah, go James Bond. Yeah, lest we forget. That, that's fine. Mm. The best um, run of James Bond. However. Um, even their television shows are fantastic on Apple. That's see, the Michael Douglas Ben Franklin series. I was thinking I really want to check that out. Actually, lessons in chemistry. Holy shit! What a revelation! What is that? 
See, it I think is, there's all this Apple stuff that nobody has heard about that's on there. Like, I have seen so bandits. much of this stuff. You ever seen Time Bandits? I have not. I, not I canceled my, uh, my thing. They're not, it's not, has not been renewed, I should say. Yes, I heard that that was canceled. But yeah. uh, <laughs> Lessons in Chemistry is uh, Brie Larson, and it was amazing. She really? plays a woman who is like an amazing chemist. She's genius level. Right. Uh, alongside, uh, oh my God, because we were talking about him as Reed Richards. Uh, oh, John Kowals? No. No, not, not, uh, not. Um, Krasinski. Krasinski, there we no, go. Thank it's you. Not John Krasinski. <laughs> John Kerr. Um, it was one of our like hypotheticals. Oh my God! It's Lewis Pullman's. Uh, Bill Pullman. Lewis Pullman. Oh, Bill okay. Pullman. Bill Pullman's son. Oh right, right, right. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. He I, plays I, the him. genius, oh. and he is amazing. He would make a fantastic Reed Richards, mm. but no one fucking listens to me because shit bags. Um, <laughs> what does he know about comics? Yeah. What, what does that guy know? So. We've got, um, and it was just an amazing movie. Uh, movie. It was an amazing series. Uh, television series. It's, it was a mini series. Uh, it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Mm. So she's a, just watch it. Okay. Watch it. No, you I, will thank me for it. I honestly, I'm, I'm curious about that. And I never watched the, the Springsteen doc about the making of his last album either. I know that was on Apple TV as gotcha. well. Gotcha. Um, so Weird. there's a couple of things I was curious enough to watch that I was like, right. maybe I should give this a shot. I'll give you my login but, if you want it. It's a secret. Here, you can. That's here. a joke, everybody. Here, he was, he was playing go. into the bit. You can here, censor here's, that. Part. Here's Mike's app six uh, login information. How dare you, you can borrow it. He lets everybody here's use it. Here's his social. Here's, yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Whose voice is that? Don't know. Let me ask you Donald something. Donald Duck. Mike. See, this is. <laughs> I thought so. It's a post Hot Ones Donald Duck voice. Um, That's a so thing. now, because DC and Marvel are basically in a rebuilding stage. You know, James Gunn sure, is taking over for. Yeah. DC, right. DC Films, yes, and Marvel, you know, it's they need to get the audiences back. They do. <laughs> so what, they need to regain their trust. Yeah. Well, yes, after a string of oversaturation. Yeah. Let's, to, to put it, give it, give it the right term. It's been oversaturation. Marvel movies turned into the westerns. Superhero movies turned into the westerns. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's and that's yeah. I was I was talking about you that. It's like at a point, you know, westerns had their run, and then the early seventies, it was like they were kind of tired of westerns. People weren't going to see them anymore. You know, mm -hmm. but all through the 50s and through the 60s, that's what you had. And that's kind of where superhero movies have been because it's been the oversaturation. Plus the TV shows, again, you know, every you can't have something new every month. You know, in Star Wars, frankly, the same thing. You can't constantly have something new and expect you're going to sustain. That's no. why I want to do Cape. <laughs> that's why I said, let me step back and let and people want it. Sometimes, exactly. you, you got to let them... You know, you gotta, you gotta have them, have them get a little frothy at the mouth. Exactly. See, and here's the thing, because um, I was just talking to somebody about this, and it's so amazing that you bring this up. But I was talking to a young lady who is, she's like the retailer's best friend for uh, an image imprint. Uh, I'll mm. let you uh, actually mm -hmm. let's go. You know, it Danny, Danny Ward is awesome. She works for Ghost Machine, who is uh, essentially. Like the best and the brightest. You've got nice. Jeff Johns, you've got mm. Francis Manipule, you've got uh, Brian Hitch, you've got Gary Frank, you've got Peter Tomasi, you've got a million other really talented people all under this one banner. Mm. And it's, they're, they're making some great um, comics out there. It's Geiger, Redcoat. Redcoat is about a, um, a British soldier back in 1776 mm. becomes immortal. And Ooh. he's a shitbox. <laughs> he is not a good person. But he became immortal, and every he dies, and then he comes back to life. Wow! So great concept. That's a good antihero. The artist is Brian Hitch, and he's amazing. Yeah. Jeff Johns is he's Jeff Johns. These things. He is the man. He is, he learned under um, Richard Donner. What? Really? Yes. You, oh, I forgot to tell you that. You, you've read some of his stuff. But he is or was the uh, assistant to Richard Donner. Wow. Yeah. And by the way, did you hear that the Goonies Never Die was coming oh, out? Oh, that's fake. That, I, that was I AI. Knew that was, I knew that oh, was fake. Yeah, that one I knew. Was, that's a relief. I'm relieved about that. That because, one, because I, I was like, they're never gonna fucking do it. Goodness. Because we talked about this on the show last year, but it's like the legacy sequels. It's gonna, it's gonna ruin us all. I don't we know. I Top really... Gun Maverick and now the Beetlejuice sequel. I'm like, now we're gonna get stuff 35 years yeah, too late. Ma but Top Gun Maverick was actually good. Top Gun Maverick was good. Um, I, hey, I'm just Ghost, saying, Ghostbusters but, Afterlife. I yeah. mean, I know that Jason Reitman pulled that whole um, "I'm gonna stab you in the heart" thing with yes. with uh, Harold, but. 
and lean and pressing the nostalgia button pretty hard. As much as I enjoyed the oh film. Oh my god, yes. Oh yeah, but, you could call it what it is. It's member berries. Oh, at, oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> yes. And I love Ghostbusters. Let's be real here. No, the nostalgia totally. the G, the G um, spot, if you will. But it <laughs> putting the G in Ghostbusters since 1984. Um, <laughs> but I, now see. I agree, but I'm like, I don't know about all. So when I heard Goonies, I'm like, oh, great. We're going to get the, actually the best description I heard of it. Can't wait to uh, watch a bunch of kids we don't know for two hours and then have the, <laughs> or I'm sorry, see the original Goonies in the last 10 minutes of the movie and two hours prior to it of uh, Gen Z kids we don't find interesting. <laughs> yeah. like, that's, that, a, that's, that's actually basically that, what it would be. The minute that's I saw that be. poster, that is literally what I thought was going to happen too. Yeah. Like, it's... It's so formulaic when it comes to these it movies. Is. And plus, to be, I don't want a Goonie sequel. It's like it doesn't. No. We don't. We don't. I just don't feel like we don't need. It one. landed perfectly the way it, it landed. Yeah. Right. Yes. Um, did we need Ghostbusters two? Maybe not. I'm glad we got Ghostbusters Afterlife. We didn't need Ghostbusters two. We really didn't. Although, and I, I could have thought of a, a couple of better uses for Rick Moranis's time. Okay. Okay, I get that. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it, it, it that, falls into the, okay. the comedy sequel trap of a retread of the original. Yes. Like all, the same points. Exactly. It's, it's just the like the same beats. Like same, uh, yes, the yeah. same story beats. Thank you. Um, Star Wars. The everything. Just about everything. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. There's a case to be made. So what, <sighs> as with Marvel and DC is the right. most commercial properties. Yes. What characters have they not touched yet that you feel like, what what is something that could revitalize as a longtime fan what do you oh see my as god like, this this needs to be about this is a direction they should go in because i the think direct- we've talked about this we I have think yes we the- have and i like this this is a yeah, this go. is really great go all right uh yeah go with young avengers okay because yes go with the young avengers because we've already seen just about all of them but bring them together mm. you know have um I don't know who who do you want to to be the leader there? Have have somebody be you know like Vision Junior, because that's what they did. They brought Kang back as Iron Lad, and really? who morphed into a Vision, a, like a teenage Vision, which is really a, a very cool thing. It was written by uh, Alan um, Alan Heinberg, who did. Okay. Uh, he's he's a very good writer, mm. and uh, so on that front. And here, this is something we didn't talk about, Christian, but um, Marvel has always played with the concept of the monsters. Mm-hmm. Like they've had Werewolf by Night. They had the Tomb of Dracula. You know, mm-hmm. we've mm. we've seen, you know, Blade came. Of course, Blade yeah. Blade yeah. came from the, uh, the chest of now, Tomb of Dracula. As much as I would love to see this, and I do agree with you, that would be dope. Do you think that they haven't done that because anything outside of comic book movies that they've done with those characters have not done well? That's bullshit, and on a couple of levels. One was when they agree. did Werewolf by saying. Night. Werewolf by Night was perfection. Yeah, but I'm talking with within Marvel's system of that. Anything like with Universal attempting to do anything with their version of the, the monsters I would, do I, well. that's, I would that's be like, I'd be like, fuck you, Universal. This is how it's done. <laughs> no, I agree they with have, you. I'm totally agreeing with they you. I'm have, just saying oh, that, like, you. the no, commercial no. prospects, people... Oh, I'm just arguing with you for well. the sake of arguing. <laughs> no, no. Not, I, and Fair. Okay. As no, usual. But I, I'd be... Uh, Kevin Feige's like, anything Universal did is bullshit compared to what we can this. do. Yeah. You know, oh, we, can, we can make this so much better. And I think they should. And as far as DC goes, mm-hmm. you want to know what I think they should do? Please. Because we're about Pe- to get our 11th Batman. And, uh, we don't me, need... So, um, not Batman, Superman. Yes, rather. we don't need Batman. We don't need but Superman. Batman, yeah. We need nothing. We don't need those guys. You know what we need? We need the Teen Titans. Yeah. We need, we need Nightwing. We, mm. need, uh, so we need to see the sidekicks. We need to see the stuff on the edges of mm. the superhero um Genre, just like um, James Gunn said, "Hey, you know we're gonna do the Authority, which, which is, is it's art, arch, arch, archetypes of all of you know superheroes." Okay, you've got um, and they go out there and they kick ass and they don't know political boundaries, mm, and it's gonna be uh. very interesting to see where that goes. This has to be a multiversal uh, movie because you can't piss in somebody's sandbox and at zero consequence and have yeah 
and have the status quo. Right. So, right. And that that was part of why it was a great comic series, but ultimately a finite comic series because you paint yourself into a corner very quickly when you do mm. stuff like that. Like if you're like if you send your morally ambiguous Superman to go and slaughter, you know, Saddam Hussein. Mm-hmm. Where do you go from there? Right. Well, so. I mean, honestly, with with where what Marvel has been doing only over the last what at this point, I guess, five years, we have to include Endgame with the the multiverse. It's like you can't keep going down that road without having everything be affected. <laughs> right. Know, basically, yeah. every. So However, it, that's yeah. that's a tricky balance. But DC is the one who created the multiverse. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah. Marvel Marvel's the one who well, actually Michael Moorcock uh, created the was it great name. on Infinite Earth before. Before Secret Wars, before any of this, it was multi- before everything. Yeah. But was it really? But I that, know that, I mean, the concept of the multiverse goes back to the 1960s. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, when actually I, the Silver I Age of, did not know that the Silver Age of comics came about because they took, um, they took really cool names like the Flash, mm-hmm. and they updated it for the Atomic Age. Hmm. Whereas, See, that's, yeah, that's smart. You had cool. Jay Garrick back in the 1940s. Mm-hmm. And then you had Barry Allen in the 1950s. Right. So, and then you had Alan Scott was the Green Lantern back in the Golden Age of Comics. And then Hal Jordan came, you know, he was part of an intergalactic police force. Whereas mm. Alan Scott just had a magic ring. And yeah. He <laughs> had no scientific validity, <laughs> no nothing. Oh, really? Yeah. Just a ring I mean, with powers and that's yeah. kind of it? It's yeah. like, like he was unremarkable. I guess a, a fucking lamp told him what to do. So you're like, yeah, sure thing. Lamp, no problem. It's a genie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so okay. Well, yeah, I got sort it. of. Kind of. <laughs> nice. And also, if you look at his fucking costume, just there was, I don't think there was any green in it. It was like red and purple. And, and he was still called the Green Lantern. Green Lantern, yeah. Because he took orders from a Green Lantern, like Charlie's Angels? Yeah, He took much, orders yeah. from a Green Lantern? Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to carry it around then if everyone were going to call him that, right? Yeah, that's a drag. Why is he not like Ring Guy? <laughs> <laughs> Ring Man! Because that looks like shitty on a comic book cover, right? Yeah. Ring he, Man. Or in a movie well, poster. When he, when he Look does at you, heist, Phantom. Ring Pop. He's got to run a rim job. <laughs> <laughs> a rim job. <laughs> yeah, if he's running a heist or maybe like a big thing, it's going to be a rim job, in and out, you know? <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, what? Mike, I do. You're right. I do need I do, just, no I clue. I loved your idea of, of like an outskirts universe where it was yeah. focusing on like the sidekicks and the Teen Titans. Shit, kind yeah. of, uh, we were very close to a Nightwing movie for a very long time. Yes. And oh my I'm God. still bummed about that. I, I, think I want it so badly. They could, they could still do it because if nothing else, the Flash movie made abundantly clear we all want to see Michael Keaton as Batman. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you can de age him. We can continue let's not, those two movies. Let's, let's stop with the AI, please. No more of that yeah, bullshit. Yeah, the Flash oh AI is, is well. Atrocious. No, I mean that that in particular was was I, lousy. But I'm I saying did like, not hate the movie though. I mean, as much as I hated the Flash himself, the guy playing but, the well, Flash. Well, that's exactly it. It's like two Ezra Millers. One is enough. Two is no two, two too many. One is way too many. Yeah, to exactly. Begin with, so, so, and I didn't spoiler alert. Although if you haven't seen the Flash. Good on you, and you probably don't want to. But um, yeah, no, I didn't. I, he's the only reason I went to see the movie, and ultimately paid to watch Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne die twice. Well, I thought you said, Ezra, sucks, I, 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 honest to God, I thought I was like Ezra Miller is the reason you went to the fucking movie. No, I a, hate no. you. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. leaving. He's the reason people don't go see movies. Um, <laughs> he's the reason why people join cults. Or whatever the, yeah, exactly. That, that whatever that last uh, Fantastic Beast movie, uh, The Secrets of Dumbledore, whatever it was, um, would have been a better reference if I had the name right, but. I think yeah, because you can f- follow up what has happened since. You can. I feel like they can continue that. We can find out the you know, did they didn't they will they won't we won't they with uh, Selena Kyle with Michelle Pfeiffer because that she's still the Catwoman. You oh know, hell for, yeah. forever. Yes. Um, she is yet to be unseated. Um, unlike say like Nicholson's Joker, obviously you know Heath Ledger was one to follow it up, and now they're equal. I'd say equally, equally iconic, uh, yeah. yes. depending on yeah. you know if if you have the range of like you and know, then you, <laughs> nothing existed before I did. So don't even go there. Before oh. Don't you dare go there, Christian. Don't you talk to me about Joker Le Fall or whatever the fuck no that is. no no I don't give a Le fuck fall about that. Oh, 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 oh what? Oh, I saw the poster for that. Fucking I, Lady I Gaga. Fuck the, I'm good. I didn't I, I didn't even see that. I don't like. In theory, she could be a cool Harley Quinn, just not in that fucking movie. Like I don't, I don't. Contextually speaking, no. Let's just know no. that whole movie. That, yeah, thank you. We no. didn't need yeah. that. 
We didn't I, need I don't know. I don't I, need a sequel to Joker. Yeah. Well, that, but see, I didn't see Joker because I feel like, unfortunately, episode one started this whole trend of like, we need to get, we need to understand why the villain's fucked up. Because No, we don't. Yeah, I agree. No. But yeah. we had to learn about Darth Vader. They did it with Maleficent. <laughs> you know, they did it with yeah, it's so. a, a lot of a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah, Cruella, the, wi the, the, wicked, exactly. the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah. What the fuck other? Uh, you need nothing more than. Um, well, she's the Wicked Witch of the West. Right. Her name. What, one yeah. of the, literally. One of the, your sister doesn't like Victor Von Doom. That's it. That's all you need to know. Victor Von Fucking Doom. Yeah. Which name. we're not gonna. We're not gonna get that. We're gonna no, get, we're gonna we're get, gonna get, get a multiverse Stark. story. I don't want Tony Stark as I, I, I alcoholic doom. No, that would be great. He can't do my anything. Only, my only thing, and this no. we could go, we could go down a rabbit no. hole about this subject. My a demon in a bottle would be an interesting way to do Doctor Doom. Oh my god! But um, I will say the only way I think you could really sell Doctor Doom. I'm going to put this out there, even though it's probably already written. Um, but I think. That, yeah, the mask comes off that face, and we literally need, with his bare hands, he needs to kill Pepper Potts. I feel like that's the only way people will buy him as a villain, and this is not Tony Stark. I think it's the only way you get a clean slate with this new character. And I don't this, want... This Victor Von Doom as a kill. I agree, but it's done. I don't want it either. I, I'm, I'm but intrigued then again, to see where they go with it. But I'm, I'm also... To, to, I don't want Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Reed Richards. because he does not fill the fucking no. shoes. No. He doesn't. And again, I don't know how this takes place in the 60s and there's going to be a Fantastic Four in modern day. I, I don't know any of this. I, I yeah, feel like the, uh, the whole, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the curious how. a bad idea. Making that roadmap made dude, a lot of. I don't know. I mean, they keep roadmap. stumbling over themselves trying to get. Do you know who they going. could have had as Reed like Richards Superman. who I would have Superman. bought? Oh. If you're going in the 60s since. Why the fuck not? Hmm. Get John Hamm. Juan Hamon. Get Juan Hamon <sighs> as Reed Richards. <laughs> And yeah. he's he smokes a cigarette, smokes cigars, whatever. Don't care mm. because it's the '60s. Now the movie's rated R. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I would, I would do it now I that mean, now the seal's been broken with rated R. You know, Disney Marvel movies. Listen, so. if there was going to be like a '60s set Marvel movie, I think like an Ant Man prequel would have been dope. But I think we the ship kind of sailed on that. One I think it did. Yeah, and there was some de aging that looked good. Yeah, I, I, will, I will say that Michael I Douglas mean, did look good. He when they did, and so did creation. Michelle Pfeiffer. But yes. guess what? It's I, we find, all know. Find yeah. somebody who resembles these people. Didn't didn't Michael um, Michael Douglas have a kid? Fairly yeah, had to have. He's a few. Yeah, yeah, I mean, anyone that's not like six now. <laughs> yeah, get Bill Pullman's son. Yeah, he's apparently get, great. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, <laughs> get him. Yeah, he's there. a fucking. He's he's amazing to play, to play young Hank Pym. Uh, but, Why not? But who are you going to get to to play Doom? Because you have to find somebody who's like thirty years old, who's arrogant enough, who's smart enough that you're like, oh shit, I I buy him as a genius. That's you. If you don't buy somebody as a genius, it's like Pedro Pascal. I buy him as yeah, so the Last of Us. Let's recast our other genius from the MCU. I think. And that, again, uh, I'm I'm know. curious. I'm I'm open minded, but I mean, like I I. Have I've been neutral on the last several things from Marvel last years. That's why I was yeah. curious about kind of your thoughts because but certainly go, enough underdog stories. Sure. Nobody knew who Guardians of the Galaxy were until no one knew who Iron Man was until they made well, a movie. That's, that's, so I don't feel like you need to keep playing the hits with like the major well, characters. That's where you're going. So with I agree. Gun, with you. Gun is he's got the Creature Commandos coming out, which is like holy shit. This is going to be that? amazing. Creature Commandos. It's essentially. I mean, I'm sure the name tells us what it is, but you know, uh, Creature you Commandos. It's set in World War II. Okay, and it's essentially it's sick. a platoon of monsters. universal monsters nice see that sounds cool i like that yeah that's a good idea okay um, so dc has a chance to yeah james gunn taking the helm of dc supplant. made so much sense yeah i i'm i like his direction with it whereas marvel I, i'm kind of with you i haven't really mm. been about the last couple of things yeah. the one the last thing that i honest to god like really enjoyed mm -hmm. was doctor strange 2 just oh my because god, yes. i liked Finally, somebody coming in that was like, "Let me put actual vision behind what's on the totally. what's on screen." Like I was enjoying Sam Raimi behind the helm of a movie. I, again. I just watched that again, and I remember thinking and, at two and a half years ago when it came out, I was like, "This is close as we're going to get to an R-rated Marvel movie." Yeah. Now we actually have had one, but and then what you were saying, I, before, I love that. But since then, I'm with you. I've enjoyed anything. And then what you were saying before, in terms of like. Pedro Pascal and all these guys. I'm like, I'm still mixed on it. I still want to see the movie. Like, I I get it. I don't I don't know. But then, in also the uh, what was the you had said something about 
some the, another MCU property that you would uh, what Young Avengers? Uh, yes, Young Avengers. You, I think, is the fucking smartest move that you could go with with that currently. Oh, Doom and his casting choice. Like, yes. I think that I would have liked an unknown because yeah. I think that uh, I think that that would have made sense for that character, not just necessarily because of gravitas and all that. Mm. I think that now because it is Robert Downey, we then now have a finite amount of appearances that we have with Doom. And you also have expectation. Yeah, and there's yes. so many fantastic Doctor Doom stories. And now because it's Robert Downey playing him in the MCU, mm. we're probably going to get two at the most. And that's a shame for that character. They'll probably be confined to those two Avengers movies yeah. that they already yeah. announced, yeah. the Avengers sequels. Think so. about this. Okay, Doom was at university. Um, that thing blew up in his face. He recovered from that. He went to Tibet, hung out with some monks, made his armor. All that would have taken like three years. So let's say he's a genius. So he's like 20 when he's at university. Shit blows up in his face. So he's 23, 24 when mm. he becomes the man in the Iron Mask. Right. All right. So what if, if, and this is something that Marvel should be fantastic at. They, they should be. It's, it's in their DNA. But they haven't shown me in the past five years. You plant those seeds. Like you have in the Fantastic Four where something, you know, just like a little blurb about, you know, oh, there's, there's something going on. They're having a debriefing with, you know, like the, the CIA. And yeah, there's a de or, or even early shield. Mm. And, you know, oh, there's a destabilized region in the Balkans that, uh, you know, it's, it's always been shaky, but now they've got a stable government. And it's really freaking us out because nobody knows who the, the new monarch is and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And that's all you have to say. And then the next movie does a little bit more. Mm. And then the next movie does a little bit more. And you build and you it have out like slowly. Si you have seismic shakes, shakeups around the MCU, and you find out that it's Doom. And he's fucking been moving pieces around right. on a global scale. You're, you're, he's playing chess. Right. I mean, they're probably going to find a way to connect those dots now. Unless yes, it's just multiverse to, Tony Stark. Here's but, the thing that but pisses now, me off. But now, yeah, exactly. Now it's going to be, we've got a retcon much. everything. Yeah, there's too much out there. And instead of doing it like a whole, you know, over, you know, like that eight years. Right. They're doing it all in like one or two yeah. uh, movies or even a season or two of, I mean, I watched Agatha all along, the first two episodes. They were okay. They were enjoyable. They're all right. But it wasn't what I expected from Catherine Hahn. Mm. You know, now now I'm expecting something from her. And unfortunately, she ain't delivering. Well, if that's I mean, the that's, first two, then yeah, that's not a good sign. Uh, yeah, I don't know. For a character, they probably didn't expect to take off. But that, because it did. I mean, again, WandaVision came out. In during quarantine, so was that 2021 or was it 2020? I think it was right at the beginning of 21. Four years ago. Yeah. So yeah, we we're watching it in here. Okay, so it's probably it 21. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, that's it. I, I don't know that they necessarily planned that. So now they have to build the story around it, and I, I don't know. It well, all I gets... think that I think that they kind of by design made that character blow up a little bit. I mean, when they pick that character is a villain for the majority of the thing anyway. Like, yeah, it's mostly Wanda's fault, but it's yeah, like, Wanda was oh, a real villain of Wanda Fiction. Yeah, I mean. But like, oh, Agatha's helping or whatever kind yeah, of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, of course they're going to, especially the way that that trajectory of that series was going, because mm -hmm. it seemed to be building towards something mm -hmm. crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Agatha. And then it was like, but then who the who the hell is Agatha? Like, a lot of people. Right. Well, I like, mean. Who, I guess, but the fact that it took so long for this to come about, I feel like it wasn't part of the plan. It was well, more me, of a reaction. Let me but. throw this out there to you folks. Um, and this goes for all, all the... All the folks. All, folks. all the folks. But Marvel. Marvel has always... That every one of their characters, when they introduce themselves to you, they tell you exactly who they are. Every time. True. But the first time we meet them, we know exactly who they are. And we knew that from Agatha, too. True. And we knew that from Wanda. Wanda was, right. yeah. I mean, in Age of Ultron. 
Or she uh, actually, Bad guy. what was that? Yeah. No, was it, it was yeah. Age of Ultron. No, first time first we saw out. her. Oh, was that post credit scene? Yeah. With the twins. What, yes. I don't remember what movie it was. What, um, movie? Um, what movie was that? That was, um, oh my God, what was it? Was it was, Winter um, Soldier? It was probably the was Winter before. Soldier. It was probably 2014. So. Yeah, it was Winter Soldier. Okay, yes. maybe. So yeah. They, so they yeah, she started as a villain, so she should have ended so as a villain. She ended as a villain. She hopefully and has. Nobody really dies in these movies. But that's that's true. Maybe she'll come back as uh, Doctor Doom. Well, what happens when there's now too much stuff to watch before yes. something comes out? I agree. And, like, even though I'm excited about it, like mm-hmm. I do think Brave New World looks pretty damn good. It does, but I then so. again, we're also hurt by the um, like the Ahsoka universe, like going to Star Wars, Ahsoka. You ha- do you have to watch Rebels to get it? You bet you do. Right. So, but how many people are going to sit there and watch four goddamn seasons of right. a cartoon? A piece. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how much appeal is it going to have? And and I get that. And I, I got to be honest with you. I mean, when I first started watching Rebels, I'm like, oh crap, it's baby's first Star Wars. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm like, right. oh my god, yeah, kind of, because it's like, hey, who are these guys? Hey, who is this kid? And I mean, it grew on me very, very quickly. Mm. But you know, you're you're sitting there going, "Oh crap!" Right. Wasn't that the first Disney project for Star Wars for them? Like, didn't that? I pre- thought Clone Wars was no. no that's... Clone Wars was a film. No, no, Warner I, Brothers no. You're before, right. Hold on, I'm and it was here. a series before that. Wasn't it, it was Cartoon Network did Clone Wars? Yeah. Yes, Cartoon, okay. Cartoon Network, Network did it, and it was Filoni mm-hmm. and yeah. okay. Favreau. Yeah. So Favreau did really. Okay. Yeah, he did the voice of. Um, Oh my God! The um, the other Mandalorian, the bad Mandalorian, talking like John Favreau. <laughs> yeah. If anyone, if anyone's gonna know the answer. We're not gonna look it up. You're gonna have to come up with it. Come on. Uh, I will. Hold on. I, I mean, uh, not Dinger in, but uh, what the fuck was his name? Um, he wielded the um, the dark saber. Uh, God damn it! He was. People well, are furious in the comments right now. I know. But it's like <laughs> it's him, you moron. They're, They're shouting. shouting. You shouldn't be running that store. I know. Um, <laughs> kinda, um, you should be Bo- an encyclopedia of like everything. Bo, Bo- Katan's. Uh, d- you know what? Here, here's my thing, and God bless you, Danny Ward, for telling me this. Go fuck yourself. Pre, you know? pre, vi- yeah, pre viz, pre viz, yeah. vizla, yeah, pre vizla, pre pre vizla. Really? Yeah. That sounds yeah. like software. But okay, I, <laughs> I installed that yesterday. That's what I thought, right? I'm like, I think yeah. I, I think I replaced Cubase with that. Actually, it's. Gay porn for hardware. There you go. Pre Vizsla. There's Pre-Vizla. a lot of connecting. That's right. They're, if you know what I mean. Lots of, software lots of, lots of to the hardware. Screws and nuts and bolts. Gotcha. And uh, but anyway, yeah. This he is did, taking a turn. He he did a favor for for uh, Filoni for you know. Right. So. I get it. But yeah, having to keep up with uh, all these different things, and like exactly. you got to watch all this. I agree because it's it's a lot, and I haven't watched any of the shows. Like I really I. I watched the what ifs for Marvel because those are fun because yeah, they're kind of one and done. And yeah. it's like, it doesn't require a huge commitment. That's not true because they're all connected. Oh, ultimately, yes. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but like, you don't but need you don't to have realize watched that. all the live action stuff. Right. Yeah. Like, ultimately, they connect the entire series, but like, to connect eight episodes is fine. To connect to like, I will have had to have seen, you know, bullshit like Quantumania and the Eternals. Like, I haven't seen them, so I'm not going to, you know, like to understand what's going on. But then that that's part also is kind frustrating of... because it's like, there's a point, again, Oversaturation. You're just going to lose people because people aren't going to keep up. And most people have kind of checked out since, with a couple of exceptions, most people have checked out since Endgame. You know, Listen, people enjoyed the last Spider-Man, but they saw the word end and they things. were like, oh, okay, cool. Locking yeah, out. right? <laughs> Locking out. But it's, it's. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, Listen, we, could, know we could ultimately make, have a time. I know you make fun of this movie, but like one of the reasons I do enjoy it is because Cause I, I make fun of it. to then watch like six movies of backstory beforehand Go ahead. Shang-Chi. Like I enjoy that movie. I think it's a fun flick, I, okay. but I like the introduction of newer Marvel characters that I don't know about. Like I want more of that. The exploratory Marvel series is the series that are out there that are more out on the crust. That yes, have the people, edges. People who haven't gotten as the much. unexplored. I, yeah, I really love that side of Marvel at least, and I really wish that they could you know explore that a little bit more. But I mean, I hope so. Well, that's why I thought. Well, who who would know better than the well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here, like, you know, like they, what, what's worth? If you yeah. watch, and I'm gonna, I mean, it'll be on like every day in the month of October. The Werewolf by Night special. It's as close right. to perfection as you can possibly get. There's, there's no need for anything. There's no, there's no setup. 
extraneous setup. You, you, can, you can watch it independent of everything yes. else. Yes. Okay, because I, I have not seen it. On your recommendation, I'm going to watch it. It's it's fantastic. It's okay. so good. It's, it, he's Cause right. Because I was checked out at the point when, honestly, I'm right. serious. Like, everyone's like, Moon Knight was good. What was it about? I don't know. No. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm not watching this. Honestly, Nobody God, could explain what Moon Knight was for me, about. I don't Moon Knight watched it. didn't like it. Didn't hit. Well, no. That, yeah. But that, I'm saying, I think that was the last, again, one of the things I was just like, I don't know what the show's about. And people who watched it couldn't tell me what it was about either. You know so I think, think at the point when Werewolf by Night came out, I'm like, I'm good. Even though it was a standalone, like one hour, 45 minute kind of thing. It's, it's or 45 minutes so well done. See, I'm you're gonna for that. you're gonna love it. You're gonna be like, holy crap! And it's it's a well crafted tale. It's mm-hmm. it is a done in one, and it makes you want more. Right, and I'm good. I I like that. I think there needs to be more. Um, it's Marvel actually like connected. being experimental in their and like, fun output and fun. Right. like yeah. And I I think that's I think that's worthwhile. I think that's kind of the direction. And I think that that's what they should do is and and go for the like the horror sick. You know, segment. They have so much library. They for do. It. They yeah. uh, they've well, got that's, yeah. everything. You know, they have their universal monsters. Right. And Can now you? that uh, I, uh, I don't know, did Sony sell them Morbius? Because no, now, no, no they still, kept Morbius. It's probably, fucking good. Can keep it, keep it, and keep it. Oh, Jared Leto. Ugh. Well. Let's reboot nobody, it again. No, reboot it and run it again. Well, let's remember, nobody saw it twice. So <laughs> yeah. I, I think they're done. I think they're done with Morbid. It's Morbin time, his famous catchphrase. <laughs> like, come I, on, guys. <laughs> I still love that. Like, yes, Mike, you were right in the very beginning of the show. We are not very bright as a human species, but we were bright enough to trick a multi-billion dollar corporation into releasing a bad movie in yeah. the theaters. No, we'll see it this time. <laughs> because they no, I promise you. It was funny. I mean, <laughs> really funny. What? What do you mean it's gone already? <laughs> we'll put it back in theaters so we go see it. <laughs> Guys, it's been Morbin time the whole time. You can't take it away from us. Like, <laughs> it's one of the few moments where I'm like, we win. Yeah, like we won <laughs> that time. Everyone signed up for Netflix. When Actually, they the got suits dropped are their like- parents' account, but unfortunately. Fuck the norms. What <laughs> yeah. Let's put it back. We, we think they're telling time. the truth this time. Oh, my Fuck God. Fuck the dirties. Could you imagine the seals that they have that just, like, drops the idea balls into the thing and they put it together in oh the writer's God. room? Yeah. Then it was finally just like, maybe we'll keep making bad movies and they'll like it. They really like well, it. Maybe, they, maybe there's an emo kid in a milk bath like Minority Report and they're like, aha, oh. maybe if we keep going in this direction. Did you ever watch Taxi as a kid? I, I watched Taxi last week. Okay. It's on, <laughs> it's on, it's on Pluto or Tubi or something. Oh, Tony Danza shit. wanted a fresh hey, Tony apple. Danza. Tony Danza wanted a fresh Jeez. apple. And he goes up to his friend. He's John, how can I get a fresh apple out of here? He's like, well, you could. And, and John was like, well, you no, could. Stay in character. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 it's come back not, to it. It's not Tony Danza. No. Um, all right. So go ahead. Tony Danza. The, John said, well, we could buy all of the, um, the apples, throw them away, and then we've got fresh apples. Because. You know, you have to buy them within a certain time, or they'll get mushy. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Yeah, but then, then I'll then I'll go and do that." And he's like, "But the guy who supplies our thing might think that we really like the mushy apples, so he'll just stock all these with mushy apples." Mm. And he says, well, "How can I get a fresh apple?" He's like, "You can't." <laughs> so that's pretty much yeah what Disney is saying to us. You. You, know, you can't you're get any go, fresh apples. You can't get no fresh apples. Sorry, Tony, Tony Danza said it. Yeah. Tony Danza, you can't have no fresh can't apples. Can't get fresh apples. Not even a Mona's. Surprise. Oh, I'm getting ahead of things. Uh, oh, the man. Hulk. <laughs> oh, my God. I would hey, I t- seen Angela's it? apples. Why? <laughs> she was walking out of the shower one day. Anyway. I seen them. Again. Her and Angela. <laughs> what, what was her? What? For oh, those uh, within 10 years of AARP membership, yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's do some. Uh, so I got some uh, AMA. Which isn't really a thing anymore, but I did it. American uh, Medical on, Association, yes. you bet it is. <laughs> thank My you for, hip! Thank you for oh. sponsoring <laughs> Capes One Night Only Special. Uh, so when we were going to do this in June, I put in my Instagram story without telling people. Now, having said that, no one knows we're here. I literally said nothing to anybody about we're going to do a cape show. Like we're, we're doing a one-off on cape. As a sta- yeah. No, literally, just the four of us in this room. No, I have not said anything to anybody. I mean, I don't know if you guys said anything to anybody. I'm guessing not. But nobody knows this, this is I coming to release. I don't want anyone oh, knowing I'm on this thing, man. Come on. Well, you're, you're, you're doing a really horrible job of being discreet. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I put out my Instagram story, just an, a general ask me anything. Mm-hmm. And I got a, a bunch of replies. Um, oh. For the most part, I want to throw these out to you guys as well. Um, except for one that's very specific, and I should have expected. Multiple people asked. Are your parents going to be on the show again? Uh, the short answer is yes. 
my parents will be on most likely together because I like to have them on together and Christian would like to have them on together. And he also, as was promised in those shows, wow, that was a year ago, even Jesus. Um, he did in fact come over for Sunday dinner as he was oh, invited yeah. to. That was, was not, that was not was a bit good. and he was in lo- Yeah, he it was good. Did you That's take any nice. home? I genuinely don't remember. Did you take yes, any I leftovers? Did. Okay. I thought so. Yeah. Um, it was a What'd you have? Italian Sunday dinner. Go ahead. Uh, I don't remember anything. I'm older than you. So what did we what have? Did we was have? it raviolis? No. Was it spaghetti? No, it was macaroni. Oh, uh, uh, spaghetti meatballs. It was, just, was it spaghetti? Okay. Yeah. Homemade meatballs, of course. Gravy, as we call it, because the meat is in this. And you know. Yeah. We've, 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 we've had this discussion. Gravy. Um, oh, not you two. No, you idiot. How? Uh, you know what? We're Let's not doing not this do now. Let's we not do it. Let's not get yeah. into it. <laughs> we'll we said we weren't doing a te- yeah. yeah. We said we're not doing a telethon <laughs> style <marathon>? show today. <laughs> <laughs> I said it in jest. I'll let it slide. Mike is dead set on making it happen. And he's got a family and a life. But uh, yes, they're going to be back on, in part because I was most surprised at how into it they were. My fear with that was they would reluctantly give in and kind of do the show just because I wore them down. But I wanted to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I thought they would come along and just kind of go with it because I asked them or they felt bad because they've been pushing it off for a while. Exactly. But they genuinely were happy to do it. They love having done it. And... Frankly, I thought I was the only person in my family who was show business, but they love the adulation they're getting from extended family and their nieces and nephews and cousins. Everybody. Oh, we watched it. It was so great. It's so great. You talked about this. Oh, you should have talked about that and blah, blah, blah. So uh, yeah, they, now they, they love the attention. Everybody wants to be in show business and my parents are no exception. You told them so the first taste is free, but then you got to start buying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, um, they're paying for the next session. But the, the, unintended, <laughs> oh, the unintended positive consequence is my cousin... And, now, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this because I don't know if it's going to be a public thing, but I do have extended family who legitimately wants to come into the studio and share family stories. Um, because at this point, I'm, I'm sorry to say, in uh, in 2024, my father is now the only one left from, as I call them, the Newark Dozen. Um, his last wow. sibling passed away over the summer. Oh, so sorry. my grandparents and his nine oldest uh, nine older siblings uh, are gone. So my father is the only one that's left, um, which is generally hit the family hard. Um, but having said that, everyone generally wants to get together and tell stories. And I, I say that because I'm sure there's a couple of things we're gonna have to see if the statute of limitations, limitations has expired ah. on because there's some stuff. Uh, but my cousins want to get together and at least share stories and talk about that stuff just to document it. I'm not saying it won't be public. There may be a heavily edited uh, general release version, so to speak. There is, but a, that's the one only of the thing of podcasting is why I tell yeah. people like they should do it is because like, and it's and the, legacy. And that's yeah. it. Without yeah. a doubt. And it, it's also a time capsule, too. That's can one of the things I enjoyed about that was, I'm, I'm going to tell you. the shows I could have had with my dad? Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, that's I amazing. Would, oh, forget it. I'm going to tell I you this, because we were, a, um, and I had a business partner, and we were going to, um, I I wanted to, um, I, I wanted to capitalize on that feeling of nostalgia and to, to have people podcast with their parents right that was one of my uh marketing schemes schemes i was scheming yeah. scheming against you're, you're you were like the fred sanford of, of yeah. red bank hey, everybody come on over yeah. here lamont we get families to come in yeah. and tell stories and, they all tell stuff. Stuff. and yeah. we get them to pay for it <laughs> yeah thank god for pluto tv because there is a, a sanford and son channel out there even the kids are like Hey, I recognize that guy. I bought the individual series. I paid like thirty dollars a piece for those series individually yeah, because I needed to have them. Now you can buy the complete box set for like twenty five bucks. No, I've yeah, never heard of San Francisco. No, holy. Fuck. Oh, we're, we got to coach you up. Oh, oh you're in for a we're just, no, we're, coach is a different. Show. Okay, Don't well we coach oh, me oh, up. Well, do you, do you remember what it's we more? Watched? It, it's more sexual slang. Do you remember what we watched at your parents' house though? He never heard of Chico and the Man. No shit. And Never he, heard of he, Freddie Prince well, Jr. He, well, he well he knows Jr. He's no senior. Oh man. He thought that was just a stage name, so he didn't realize he didn't. You don't think so, Meng? You don't think but, so, Meng? No, he, no, because my parents have not seen that show in fifty years, right. and it showed up on. And it's never been. There was like um, Warner Brothers for, during the, the TV shows on DVD when that was hot in like the first yeah. five years of the two thousands. Um, they put out like a five episode, six episode compilation DVD, mm-hmm. but like that's never streamed. That's never been available like digitally for sale. It's never been on DVD. So it showed up on Tubi. My parents have not seen Chico the Man in 50 years and they 
binged it like crazy. So when Christian was over, of course, we my mom gets like two or three episodes. We did, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, you haven't seen Chico and the Man? I'm like, he's 12. Of course he hasn't seen Chico and the Man. Mm. But I, I mean, it was before my time. So frankly, I'd never seen it either. So I'm not and criticizing. We were having a good time. That's oh, it was great. No, that's funny. No, show. good and times. Dude. Another one. The fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ. Good times. <laughs> it's funny. I, should, I used to watch it as a kid on good reruns. No, nope. oh, unintended. But, uh, oh, Janet Jackson. Different strokes was more. Yeah. I had such a crush on her. I was like, oh my God, it's Janet. She would, she played Penny. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, Penny. <laughs> I bet you did. Uh, my, so you were actually around for. I'm, I legitimately am jealous that you were around when all of this stuff was current. Even I was though you were younger, like there was still uh, I remember, there was something about it. I remember when um, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. committed suicide. Freddie Prince, yeah. No, Freddie my, Prince Sr., sorry. Yes. Not no, Jr. is still with us. Thank you, yeah, Jr. Junior, sorry. Sorry. Stay, junior with, don't, stay away from the light. Yes. Stay away from the light. I know Never mind. We don't know summer. what you did last summer. It's, you're <laughs> safe. Huh? Just be safe. I literally just made. The, oh God damn it! I anyway. heard you muttering, but I beat you to the joke. Oh, so motherfucker! Just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> so, I uh, no. That's that's a like. Do you remember where you were when JFK was assassinated? Mm -hmm. Moment for my parents. Like they were actually at my my dad's side of the family. They were at my aunt and uncle's house when I think it was my. I don't want. It was an aunt or uncle came in and said Freddie Prince just committed suicide. Um, that was like a moment. Yeah, like that the family experience because we were one like, of those things because Whoa. like the here's a guy on top of the world. I mean, you would he thought, was literally on top of the world, right? And fun, and talented. Fun. That was another thing. I'm just like, dude, because I didn't know. Again, I didn't watch the show because it was a few years before I came on the scene, and I'm like, God damn, this guy's funny. Like it's one of those people. It's like, well, it's good that at least he at least got that shot because so many insanely talented people never get yeah, there. Yeah, but he. And that's but because the thing, you're sitting you there know, going, motherfucker, you you got into the drugs and all that bullshit. Well, it was and, not seeing his. Apparently, it's, you know, he's going through divorce. He wasn't going to see his kids. Apparently, that was the, you know, what yeah. the, was the deciding factor. So, in a moment of lowness, that's that's what happened. Yeah, it, but um, we're, you're the world is better off with you, no matter who you are. Without a doubt, yeah, that's the general message yeah. as well. That's the real reason we're doing the one night only special. Yes, yeah, whoever you true. are, we care about you. Also, we're here to make you laugh, and, yeah, and go down some comic book movie rabbit holes. And yeah, exactly. But um, and, and not only that, but also to have you send uh, five dollar bills to us. So mm, yes, sixty five Broad Street, yes. Redneck, Just Red Bank, New Jersey. Redneck, New Jersey. Redneck, Redneck New Jersey. Redneck, New Jersey. <laughs> you go, Redneck, New Jersey. You go. You're about to make someone in Redneck, New Jersey, very happy That's and right. very rich. Hey, There's listen, like someone in what in the hell's Park. going on here? <laughs> Dude, Southwest Jersey is pretty redneck. Actually, so is Northwest oh, holy Jersey. Shit, my God, gets pretty redneck. Redneck in New Jersey. Yeah, it's like redneck. No, there's there's fucking there are rednecks everywhere, buddy. Everywhere there are. Holy shit! I mean, and they all sound the same. What the fuck? What are you doing? What you over mean, there? Taylor Ham? Um. Anyway, what we're oh yeah, so Chico and the Man. Yeah, who knew? Watch it on Tubi, everybody. That's where we're getting. So the AMS. Yes. Uh, yeah, which one? Question. Question. One question. One question. Boy, yeah, we got one question. I, I'm yeah. glad I got on that gravy kick. Woo. Woo. <sighs> Eighteen minutes later, question number two. Uh, and now, I think the rest of these Wait. will be for everybody. Oh, okay, that what? was question one. No, there's, one. there's a handful. Yes, that was okay. question one. No, that wasn't the only question. <laughs> Will your parents be back on the show? That'd be really shitty. Ask great. me anything. That'd be really great. It'd just be like, sorry, guys, I got nothing for you. I'm just giving updates to the audience. Um, this, Would you ever go on Hot Ones? Yes, of course I would go on Hot Ones. Number one, uh, promotion. Number two, give me an audience. Um, but also, uh, who who would be the best guest, guest on Hot Ones who hasn't done it yet? Now I've seen a lot of things online. Even the, the official Hot Ones um, Instagram was uh, has floated out Kermit the Frog. I get that, mm. but it's not real because he's not really eating it. And the biggest, the most enjoyable parts of Hot Ones are the unintended, you know, the unintended coughs and choking and noses getting schnotted up and all that. Like that's the joy of Hot Ones. I mean, I enjoyed the, the Donald Duck one that they did, but obviously it's scripted and it's it's a bit. Um, and it's fine, but like Kermit as an idea is good. In reality, it doesn't have the spontaneity of having human person suffer. Who do I think would be the best guest for Hot Ones? I don't want to throw this out to the three of you, but I say Martin Scorsese. Could you imagine him Whoa. like eating, gradually eating hot wings? Just like, what's this? It's the bomb? How hot is that? That's hotter than the other one? Oh, jeez. Like, can you imagine? And then divulging like his history. And the, the just, just everything. Because you know he get fired up about every bad review he ever got, you know. Um, about, you know, widening critics like New York, New York and stuff like that. But I just feel like as a guest, because he's a funny dude anyway, and he's got stories for, for days. I'm like, that would be an amazing Hot Ones. And I think he would genuinely be taken by surprise. I feel like he'd be a great guest. Who do you guys, who would you like to see as a guest on? on I'm sure we'd all do it. I can't imagine any any of us would say no. No, so my delicate little question. mouth. Is that right? You it. wouldn't do it? No, I would do okay. it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you heard it here. Um, <laughs> I don't know. 
man. my delicate little mouth. You know, I can make the, mo- I can make the most sexualized cape trailer ever. What are you trying to say? Based on what we've done so far. Just, I can take things out of context and make the... Uh, Having said that, excellent birthday reel fodder for 2025. Oh, but, man. I'm just shit. trying to think of someone who'd be worthwhile, who would also be a good sport. It, that's well, and thing. that's exactly it. Like, there are a lot of... Stone Cold Steve Austin was great. Noel Gallagher is great. Um, you know, people who are just funny anyway are the best guests. Shaq. Shaq. Just his face, man. I just love Shaq's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, anything... But I get Chris, it. you're not answering the question. Uh, so you're just, you're just recapping who've been on Hot Ones. What so, has Samuel L. Jackson yes, ever been on Hot Ones? Don't know. Has it, wow, that's a, I don't know if Sam Jackson. I would love if he was down that's to do one. it. That's I would love call. to see him do it. We cannot confirm, but we will. Let's see. I, that's a, that's. A I'd love one. to hear him talk about some history and then it'd be motherfucker. This yeah, everything would be motherfucker. Everything. That would be a lot of fun. That would be. That would be good. I like you got that. someone? I do. Hey, who? Go ahead. Uh, I would love to see Christopher Walken. Oh my god! Hot one. I'd love to see him take wow. one in the mouth. Wow. No, it's hot. No. That's very hot. Wow. <laughs> See, that's my, all I got. I don't have a Chris, Christopher Walken in the chamber, but gotcha. that that's that's pretty much how it would go. 25 minutes of that, but I'm completely but down. But now here's it. the thing. Would he like slowly start to break character? Or like... Would, I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't know. He's, I think that's him. That is his. That's I think him. he's that out there. I'm pretty sure. You know who I think would be fun then? In the same vein of that? A little bit. Nick Cage, if he hasn't done it already. Ooh, that's oh, a good yeah. call. Yeah, that's a really good call. That'd be holy intense. shit. Yeah, that was hot. That would be intense. He's that would be an intense. Himself. Yeah. I can't believe how hot that was. Yeah, <laughs> I know that the, Nicholas Cage wear three wings in. Three wings in. Like it'd, it'd be very intense. That's a good one. Wow, I didn't think of that. That would be unintentionally funny. I have one more answer. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, only because I just did a parody of it for Beetlejuice, but Michael Keaton would be a fun one. That would be a fun mm. one, actually. Mm. I just saw Beetlejuice for the first time yesterday. The first one? The, the first, first time? One. Get the fuck out of here. No, Whoa. for real, for real. What'd you think? Wow. What that was delightful. A was delightful it? romp. Yes. <laughs> Did you see the sequel, too? No. <laughs> Sequels. He's, yeah. He's, he's underappreciated. I think everybody, in retrospect, understands that. I also so have we, another we one. I want one right, more. Go ahead. Roseanne Barr. I'd love to see it. Oh, yeah. I, I'd watch it. You know what? I'd watch I'd it. I'd watch it. Because, I mean, can you imagine she's just, like, eating it and is like, this is nothing compared to what I would usually have. Yeah. And she actually just... I was like, married to Tom Arnold. This is nothing. Yeah, you know? Nah, I, I put a hundred things in my mouth. And she, like, bites off and starts, like, sucking out the marrow. Whoa. Actually, just starts eating the fucking wing, the, uh, the Eats bone. the fucking the whole bone. Night. Yeah, just starts... Uh, uh, Are they always this crunchy? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Who would you like to not see on Hot Ones? Like, no, absolutely not. Who would be, yeah, who'd be a boring guest, actually? No, that's a good question. Question. Yeah, that's a good one. I wouldn't want to see him on Yeah, that. no, I, I don't want to see him in anything at all. You know. I also don't think George Clooney, speaking of Musk. No. I don't think he'd be a good one either. And I don't want to smell him either, so. <laughs> speaking of Musk, thank you. Um, Wait, Elon or George? Either. Okay. Either, yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm not I'm saying not, I would want to smell them. I'm not, not a, a Clooney statement. fan. I think that he is. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Douche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think douche. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're beautiful in French. Thank you. Yes. Because yes. I mean, he's just like he's a just. I don't, he's a douche. He's a douche. Okay. Like I, I, you know what? I'm gonna aff- I'm gonna affect a political, um, you know, election and you know everything. Go fuck yourself. Well. I mean, you know, the same, same could be said of Chachi, you know, and a bunch of other people. So oh, Chachi. That's everybody. Well, I mean, the, don't, was, Chachi. Don't think that didn't swing the vote. Oh, come on. Years ago. Oh, yeah, Chachi. <laughs> Chachi, get in. We're talking about old sitcoms, so I figured yeah. I'd throw it Chachi, out there. Chachi, get out there. and Yeah, well, what are we talking about? <laughs> facts, facts of life versus Joni loves Chachi. Versus Joni loves Chachi. There exactly. Um, oh, yeah, he's such a fucking. He's a, he's a force. Oh, he is. He is. Him and Kirk Cameron. <laughs> exactly. Um all right. Oh, I would want to see the... Kirk Cameron on there. That, that's a good. Actually, yeah, I think that might be. Did you ever see that one. picture of his birthday? Like this is going back ten years. He had a they they threw him a birthday party, <laughs> and it was just like three fucking subway sandwiches and like a tiny cake. In, Dude, in this conference room. That's uh, that's Middle America white can, people. Can you that's can you pull you. that that's, up? Can we do that? Can yeah. we look that up? I would love. We, I, will, I will insert it in. But I yeah, lo- let's but, get it. Let's get a live reaction. I would love to see Kirk Cameron. Birthday party. Let's see. 
There it Jesus is. Oh, Christ. Wow. <laughs> wow. That photo did not disappoint. Oh my God. That and look at how fucking look at that that thing that's uh over in the corner. You know, everyone's hiding. That yeah. Like, Nobody I, wants to be I don't it, want to be seen no with Kirk. No one wants Cameron. to be captured on film with Kirk Cameron. Wow. I don't play well, with that. Did not eating, disappoint. I don't want to be around it either. <laughs> wow. Like, that's a fantastic accidental segue into the next Ask Me Anything question. This goes out for all of you. If every animal on the planet was the size of a cat, what one animal would you want to own? Oh, wow. <laughs> if every animal was, was the size? Si yes, you could pick one animal to own. I honestly was thinking lion because I'm like, excuse me, I'm thinking, well, if, if I mean, even the roar, if the roar is quiet, it's adorable. Or if the roar is regular full-size lion level, that's a that'd be great trick. just to have around. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. it's something you got to, you know, like what you, you can't choose like an elephant. Like they don't do anything. Dude, that's fucked so, up because I was just going to choose an elephant. I was going mean, to choose okay, yeah, piece of shit. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose an elephant if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I go hippo? Hit hippo because those, you they, see wind, Mudang? they Mudang? fucking windmill their shit. So you put them on like your neighbor's property. Wait, you mean thing. like they're junk? No, they're no, shit. shit. Yeah. Oh, literally. Yeah, oh. they literally like spray out their feces and and like. And oh, you then, would be. You, would, like, you would make a contraption to lower like, it over the fence. Yeah, exactly. The yard. I would fucking no, not not a neighbor, but okay. somebody who George Clooney's yard. George. Oh why not? yeah. Yeah, I would douche up. I, <laughs> I would douche <laughs> up his yard. George, George Clooney. <laughs> douche up his yard. It, yeah, like. <laughs> Who they, Clooney'd on my yard? <laughs> so many people. Drink. Danny Ocean of Turns. I will, um, you know what? You know how that catches on? You got to put that in a really funny upcoming movie. Uh, like, who Clooney'd in my fucking yard? And then like somebody's like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, Don't worry like, about someone it. Someone put their baby hippo in my... Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's not explain it. It'll be a reference nobody gets. Yeah, oh I'll, I'll end up getting an angry phone call. What do you think, Christian? I mean, because now you're saying any animal, which even then means like the smaller ones. Also, yeah, but what be, fun is that? Like, oh, a smaller one? Well, like, like a, a like mouse, a cockroaches? Like, like that? Be I wouldn't want awful. a fucking. Cockroach. I want to see. Well, you don't want to you want, yeah. No, but I'm just like I'm thinking of the logic, and I'm like, you want to oh. you want to upgrade something small? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I, I'm with you guys. I was gonna pick elephant as well. <laughs> like, it, that just seems like a great time. That'd be a great friend to <laughs> have. <laughs> All right, I'm not mad at it. I just thought like they don't do a whole lot. They'd what about delightful. a gorilla? Just be, uh, that'd okay. just be a monkey, but a really strong monkey. A really small, strong monkey. Yeah. I, it would fuck you up. It would. Dude, did we not remember this woman getting her face torn off? That was not an like orangutan. No, but we could do this with like preschoolers. If a yeah. monkey that size. Okay. You'd be like, beat the monkey. When, or like a, a county fair in, yeah. some of the, in some of the western parts of Jersey. beat the monkey. <laughs> As we were mentioning before. Why not? No, oh, man. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, what's a song you love by an artist you hate? Good question. I do, I don't know if there's an artist I particularly hate. Hate and, is such a strong uh, yeah, word. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but I get the phrasing makes sense. Song you love by an artist you hate. Um, oh, I've got this. Yeah, I, got, I don't. I yeah, you do. Yeah. See, I, there's a couple I could say like Fuck. I. I mean, I can't, I can't stand Kanye West, but I I, Fuck, I enjoy. You're gonna take everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I enjoy. I, I enjoy the song Gold Digger, but like I, don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I listened to it, so I can't say I love that song. I'm, I find it amusing, and I get the point of it. Um, or like, what's her name? Uh, MIA. That song was it. Paper planes. That was yeah. in like every trailer in two thousand eight. Yep. Um. Yeah. Like, but again, I don't hate her. I don't. I don't know that I know any of her music beyond that song. But it's just like I. I like that song. I bought it off iTunes. I can confirm. I hate Kanye West, but Bound Two just slaps so goddamn hard. Yeah. That sample okay. alone. But I hate his guts. Fair enough. Well, yes. Yeah. I. I. I get why. It, it makes it hard to like. Is it too? Too uh, soon to mention Diddy. Uh, no, I never liked. I never loved one of his songs at all. <laughs> I, that's a, but that's an excellent I, qualifier. I, I, I None of us are gonna. And I hate all his music. So there you go. <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm just doing half of it. Gotcha. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah. Popular choice. Yeah. I hate Diddy. Got it. Well, I mean, he just seems like. Well, he seems like such a Clooney. He really does. <laughs> I oh believe I could fly. I absolutely <laughs> adore that song from Space Jam, but, but man, you hate R. Kelly. seeing R. Yeah. Kelly be like, do you got your passport? Do you got your shots? Do you want to come with Robert to America? With a chorus singing it behind him in Nigeria, that was too much. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else before was okay. too much, but that wow. was too much. You, you have some, some well-stocked answers for a spontaneous question. I hate a lot I of people. Say. I, <laughs> I, as What's do I. What's the one but I'm like, note song you tolerate, Chris? None. They're all 
like you don't want to go down with Julio to the schoolyard? Is that what it is? And that's oh, Paul no. Simon. He hates, oh, he hates, dicks. Like, uh, like, that's that's I Paul and Oates. That. That's a different, <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> di- different band. Um, no, I, don't, I genuinely don't like any of their songs. Um, Christian, but you, you, see, you don't hate anybody either. Oh, no, you're actually I, looking there, somebody there up. There are some. There's one. Go ahead. I'm not saying that one publicly. I can't admit that on record. All right, good enough. Okay. You know what? That's fair because he's. He can't do it. I can't. There's no, okay. The, I, uh, next question, Chris. All right, question. all right. He's, Christian's going to pass. Next Whatever. question, Chris, because I have to open up in like yes, 20 minutes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Because um, we've been doing this all fucking night. Holy now shit. Now people are going to come in and start buying comics again. Probably. God damn it. <laughs> um, we got, I will say we got some creative fans out there, so I enjoy this. If you had to be summoned using the dark arts, what three objects would have to be placed on the altar? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, right? I'm like... You could probably fit all three in your pocket for me. Uh, go ahead. What are your three? You could put coffee beans, put some weed right there, and then put a guitar pick. You'll find me. I was thinking guitar pick for myself as well. I was trying to figure out. Chris, the maybe ones. we should stop doing shows together. We're two of the same person. I don't know. I feel like one of the same. Two I feel people. like that's enough. Mm. We should dock maybe. after. There we go. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying no. <laughs> it's the best gonna, offer he's had all gonna, week. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but I'll think about it. What was the question? Yeah, uh, no, I, I to, to be honest with it, what, go to, to Christian because I have to think. Yeah, about all right, go ahead. all right, Christian. What three? You must have some at the ready. It's well, one's got to have have be, like, something to do with the Muppets, like some sort of little fucking Kermit trinket. Uh, I would say a pen because I'm always writing something. Okay, mm. a pen, and, a plush Kermit. And uh, I'm going to say a pair of headphones just because I'm always doing something. Okay. Music. I'm cool with that. Quite. That's a good one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's like it's like somebody's area code. You're trying to come up with like, <laughs> so, someone's own area code. Oh, kind of. Kind of, yeah. With objects. Um. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot to put the guitar pick down and I picked some other person from like <laughs> Fresno. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just got <laughs> Californian. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, some random dude who works in a head shop. It's like, <laughs> we're, we're trying to get Chris mad, but... <laughs> We got the, we got a white guy with dreads instead. Um, Christopher Angry is what we got. <laughs> Chris Good, um, Chris Happy, I, <laughs> Chris Even Tempered. Um, for me, yeah, it'd probably be. I mean, I guess it has to be a leather jacket, right? You'd mm. have to have a leather jacket. Um, could it I, be an elephant sized? Uh, actually, a, a could tiny, be could it be a cat sized elephant? <laughs> cat sized elephant. Yes. No, well, then Chris Man's definitely going to show. I'm definitely going to be. There. Um, yeah, because that be I'm not much of a fashion plate, but um, I would have to. It can't be boots. What is going on? It's like a party going on outside here. That's a age. lot of activity. I don't know. Is it? Did she bring like a whole gaggle? Of, no, of, I think of, someone was complimenting someone. Oh, okay. All right, that was very I love this fact. podcast. Sorry, people everybody. watching. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Oh, we did that once at Bellworks. That was that was oh, a good that was time. The time. Um, should do that again. Twenty twenty five. Um, yeah. So let's say leather jacket. Although boots would be an easy one too. Uh, guitar pick. And uh, a chicken taco. A I'm gonna chicken go with that. taco. See, yes. I like the specificity of the chicken taco because we will for sure get Chris Abalo. Yes. Like well, because I won't get because I can't eat beef. Beef is no longer my friend. Oh, yeah. so oh fair. Uh, it has to be chicken. That's right. chick- like or we, ground turkey. But I'm like gonna go chicken. If it was like a ground turkey taco, it'll just like any random rock star will just pop up. Oh, that somebody. Would suck. <laughs> Keith Richards, Maybe. what are you doing here? Yes. <laughs> oh no, he's still alive. Yeah, right? oh, <laughs> exactly. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, love the idea of you messing I'll up smell the taco. You accidentally summon somebody else. I'll smell, this guitar pick I smell tacos, mate. The small red ones. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That'll do it. Yeah, Brian Jones shows up. You're like, whoa. <laughs> oh, well, no. you didn't even know you ate tacos, Brian Jones. <laughs> they had tacos 60 years ago. <laughs> 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 Did Dude, they have I'm... tacos in England? Oh. Ever? Oh. What you got, Mike? You got... <laughs> Fuck. Is one of them a it's, a good, it's a good question. Yeah, it would right? have to, it's gotta uh, be. Would, like, yeah, 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 a, gotta um, be a... a trade paperback of Kingdom Come. I okay. think that would be cool. Um, Ooh, I think yeah. I have your copy, copy yeah. of Kingdom Come. A, funnily enough, a uh, a mug of uh, a coffee mug. Okay, a with, really with coffee. With coffee would have to be. Yeah. Mike, you don't okay. want to be easily summoned. Though. No, no, no. And, well, no, Mike, Mike's no, going to make it a motherfucker for us to no. summon him. <laughs> and and a pulled pork sandwich. Ooh. So there you go. Ooh. So, I like your food thing. I mean, so I'm like, what do I make better than 
almost anybody I know. Pulled pulled pork. See, I need to. Okay, so you're invited to my place, and you could. The price of admission is pulled pork. There you that go. That's one of my I'll, favorite I'll pulled things. Chris's pork. If you want to get into his apartment, well, uh, that, you're going there, I, really, and I, I was expecting. Are you? Do we? You know? It, do we need? I a, did have to have a food item: mac and cheese. Mac and, mac and cheese. cheese. Oh, you've never so had wait, my so mac let's and get... cheese. My actually, yes, he has had my mac and cheese. Yeah, te- World's greatest mac, and, mac and, cheese. and cheese. I make some oh damn good God. mac and cheese. All right, we just need to have a cape pot luck. Apparently, yeah, <laughs> that's that's what needs to happen next oh, time. Man. That'll be the next special. Um, okay. Wait, so what are you up? So it's going to be. Wait, so what was yours? So Muppet. it's going to be mac and cheese. Will it still be a, a Kermit head, plush? Headphones yeah. and a Kermit plush? Yeah, mm-hmm. I would say so. All right. Okay, all right. That's and good. you got coffee beans. I got some coffee beans. I got some weed, weed. and I got this guitar pick. You, <laughs> wait a minute. Nice. Seriously, that's... But, I mean, yeah, you. there are going to be a shit ton of people popping up with you. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Well, he's, I, he's, he's called it first, though. Yeah, he's, well, he's he's got a fucking VW... Vet. I mean, oh. they're all going to be like a VW van. The hell is that? Is what? That's probably pitch. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, speaking of which... Oh, we are. We've um, got to get close because we are. No, we're we're at the end. We got two questions left. Um, if you could resurrect a celebrity who died in the last ten years, who would you choose? That's a tough one. And, and wait, and what was the question? If you could resurrect a celebrity who died in the last ten years, who would you choose? Um, I was tempted to go with Eddie Van Halen, honestly. Okay. Um, but, but you're like, but I really want to bang Valerie Bertinelli. <laughs> Oh, I mean, not wrong. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But I thought, I, I don't know, uh, only because, uh, oh, not, who's to years? say we're going to get, yeah, only last 10 years. Fuck. Exactly. And I was like, you know what? Robin mm, Will- no, no, I wouldn't bring him back. I Well, I'm that's it. I mean, you assume the person would be, we have to assume the person's healthy, right? That they have they have more time. Um, because can't, like, can't be somebody as they are, or like the age now, or after 10 years of decomposing or whatever. That'd be weird. Um but oh, yeah, we, we didn't have a whole lot of Van Halen output uh, prior, so that's why I'm like, I don't know that the ten that how much more we would get uh, just realistically. Gotcha. I am, however, just making it under the wire because it was 2014. I am going to go with Robin Williams actually. I would, um, providing he's healthy. Yeah, that's that's that's, it. that's my that's caveat only... though. Like, if given that choice, I'd be like, he's not in uh, cognitive decline. Which I realize is a bit like adding an asterisk to the question, but yeah, you, you're doing the asterisk. Yeah, I am that, okay. The, well, because I don't know, because like you could bring back David Bowie, but he still got cancer. It's like, well, then I don't want him to yeah, suffer, you know? Like, I, yeah, exactly. Or like, you know, Prince is another one. Like, there's so many you can actually point to and be like, okay, that would be a really good answer. However, so, but my go-to is like, I I want to know what Ron Williams has to say about the world in 2024 and pr- years previous. I w- I would love to know that. So as long as he is of sound mind, um, that would be my choice. Do you, shoot. Where you guys at? Did you James Gandolfini? Does that fit the question? Well, it's ten. I think he's more twenty thirteen, but I'll, I'll we'll, we'll accept allow it. it. It's my show. It's my rules. Oh well, it's really close. Whatever we okay. say, that's fine. Um, so I'll say uh, James. That's a good one. He's really that's great. a good one. Yeah, you know what? Because there was there was a lot more left in him. That, and mm-hmm. Chadwick Boseman, another one I'd be tempted to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. Be like, yeah. we could have gotten yeah. we could have gotten forty yeah. years of him. So you know what? That I, been I would one. love forty years of Chad. No, and I agree. That's however, since we can't duplicate answers. Um, well, that's not my Ron Williams is my definitive answer. So I know, but you you already threw them out there. So it's mm, kind of like I don't want to. I don't. You don't want to be a copycat. Don't want to be that guy. I don't want to gotcha. be. I don't want to be like Richard. You don't want to Clooney right this down up. The I don't want to. I don't want to step in a, a big pile of Clooney. Got it. So um, I'm gonna say, just so my impersonations aren't in bad taste, Ray Liotta. I want to bring oh, Ray Liotta back know, so, I can, good so I can continue yeah. making fun of him. That's a good choice. That we would, we would have to get him on here. Oh, we would have to. And he, he, we could pro- he's probably gettable. He, uh, well, I mean, well, we could well, probably now. Him. Definitely now. He's, but, you know, <laughs> like, we could find I mean, him now. Hey, but, if I had a, a, a shovel and uh, you had a spade, we can go on yeah. and I'm sure we could dig him up. We could Billy Bats him. Yeah. Hey. Go dig him up. Well, anti-Billy like, Bats. Yeah. Bat, bats him. <laughs> I'm like, we could we could Billy Batson. Here's a leg. Here's a wing. <laughs> hey, well, Billy hey Bats, Henry, like, Billy, you want a wing? Wasn't that his name? Wasn't Billy Bat? Wasn't that Billy the, Bats? It was Billy Bats. Yeah, yeah. But Billy said. Batson is no. I said uh, Billy Shazam. Bats. Him was what Billy I was saying. Ba- I know, I but quickly. Okay. it sounded Billy like Batson's Billy Bats. Shazam kid. Right? Shazam. Yeah, okay. I was like, <laughs> that'd be weird. Because <laughs> that, that I mean, would that'd be really that'd funny. Be, Instead of It'd yelling kind of Shazam, you, you yell, Leota! And yeah. you turn into Shazam, yo. the world's mightiest mortal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm chewing Chantix, and I never <laughs> felt better. <laughs> Karen! Excellent. You yelled my name out and didn't yeah. look, your boobs left. <laughs> now you're a dude. Oh. 
For God's sakes. <laughs> so you're going with, but he has to live out his days as Henry Hill, is what you're saying? Uh, that's no, the way, that's the caveat. No, he's got to live out his days with us. Okay. Making fun of him, being like, hey, that was okay, Zapsick. You know, like you're getting better. better. When I was dead. <laughs> I, you, know, yeah. you pulled me from my my eternal rest just to make fun of me. Yeah. What a douche. What a clony. <laughs> as far back as I can remember, I'd rather be dead than be on a podcast. <laughs> You have an answer. We're, we're buying you time. Do you have an answer? Well, you were buying me time this whole time. I've had an answer. Oh, well, oh. you should speak up. Biz Marquis. <laughs> okay, that's, oh, a good all right. that's a good one. But we hadn't You're really right. heard much from him. No, he was doing what was it, Cho? Was he he doing, well, not he just did. Yo Gabba Gabba, but he was also doing just in general hip hop events. Was he? I wish that he had gotten to see hip hop's 50th anniversary. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, that's, that's a good answer. That is You're actually right. really nice. That's a good that's answer. That's sweet. I like that. Damn, I'll allow it. Look like Clooney's over here. I know. <laughs> We're, yeah, he, his Listen, is heartfelt. I could have, I could have really gone heartfelt, but I was my, like, yeah. I'll go, I'll go like moderately hard. I'm essentially right. putting Ray Liotta into my closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here you go, buddy. I'll push a, a bucket of fish heads in there for you. <laughs> I've got a little window. Oh, you can shit. breathe. Mike Zapsick and Ray Liotta in comic book concubine. <laughs> I don't think I that would coming be. soon to AMC. Really? I, I don't MC well, Plus. Yeah, I mean, essentially would be if you're keeping him. I mean, but he wouldn't be. What um, TLC, the Learning Channel, they totally make a documentary about that. Maybe. Lord, Could be possibly. Netflix if Netflix comes here to. Leota Swap. You <laughs> 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 have to find some dude named Leota. Everybody loves Ray Leota. <laughs> Ray Leota we do. playing Yoda. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be amazing. That's a good one. I'm trying to think about that, but that my brain's not. Making the uh, huh. the connections right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. The it's always sunny lane. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's Thank all I got. <laughs> oh. It was worth being here for three hours just for that. Oh, there you go. So, oh, a Jedi you think you are. Is this the last question? <laughs> this actually is the last question. Well, I, I have one to end. I, got, I want to ask you guys something, but this is the last uh, listener question. Yeah. Um, and another really good one. A genie gives you, appears, gives you $100,000 cash. Thank you. How do you use it? And I'm like, and now this, so I was, good. I assume it was put to me in terms of like creative, like what would you do? Like what you do film, blah, blah, blah. Um, I would, first of all, I mean, I'd be tempted to build a, a studio at home for podcasting and, you know, have a, a filming space and whatnot. Um, I would be tempted to use some of it for that. While not assigning numbers, just speaking kind of generically, because I don't have numbers, you know, I don't know what the shit costs off the top of my head. Um, I absolutely would pay my rent for a year because that would free up a lot of mm -hmm. mental space for the creativity to flow, knowing my rent was paid. So I would take a chunk of it and obviously pay my rent for a year because that that alone would, I could get a lot of shit done in a year with a hundred grand and, uh, you know, no more, or let's say, I don't know, uh, 75 grand and, you know, uh, not, not need to sweat rent every month. Um, but yeah, I would continue working on a couple of shorts. Um, I'd throw a couple of bucks at him so he can, work on some of his projects as well. And uh, yeah, well, no, I, I would, honestly. It's like, what have we said forever? Let's tell tell one of the major studios, we get a meeting, it's just like, give us $10 million, we'll give you 10 movies. Um, yeah. So 10 if I had the money. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you one $9 million movie, movie. <laughs> and, and, and nine yeah, and nine dollars movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Wait, that, you, actually, that's a good one. I, you dude, guys figure out which is which. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm making the nine million dollar movie, and then you guys fight over the remaining. Um, oh, stop anyway, that's it's only my ten minutes. <laughs> oh, Christian is up for that challenge. No, but that Facts, time. yo. Yeah, he would. He'd Don't do it. Threaten me with a good time. Um, <laughs> so I mean, that, without giving specifics, like that. That's my answer. I would get a bunch of movies made. I build a studio space, um, and uh, I pay some rent. So that way, I'd be more freed up to work on the creative projects that I haven't thought of yet. Because you never know Beautiful. what what ideas haven't come up yet. Thank you. How about you guys? Or anybody? We're, if you have an answer, go ahead and say it. Don't wait on. I us. would. I would. Uh, like the first inclination is to be like, oh, I'd take half, go make something, and then the other half kind of mm. be smart with it. I think I'd. That's good. Honestly, answer. this time around, I think I would actually be smart with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think I would actually go off and just be like, oh, I'm going to go make a hundred thousand dollar movie. Oh yeah, I same. Think, I wouldn't do one. I think. Uh, thing. I think I would literally just like. Pay off my car, uh, get my mom set up, 
like mm. with her with a with a place right. like put a down payment on something and mm -hmm. then probably if possible for me as well use what's left over to yeah and just yeah <laughs> i would good. i would i would do that that makes sense i would take care of my, I, I, I like I, care I, of my I i feel like at least the three of us are kind of at that stage where it's just like oh, i want to get some stability going and then i can work on the stuff i want because that's kind of what we're all yeah. scratching at First and foremost, we're going to buy some property. We're going to go out to Pennsylvania. We're going to get two acres. We've got two acres down. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to invest in some low-risk index funds. Next, we're going to go to a multi-fucking uh, multi um, level marketing God. scheme. No, but oh. I'm going to start selling the corn baller, and this could be my best thing yet. The corn baller is just going to burn your hand all the time. So it's like the, it's like the corn holder from uh, Arrested Development. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Good. Um, but legally distinct. <laughs> Name. Uh, no, pretty much just buy some property, some investment, and right. start getting some time to like figure out where I'm gonna park my trailer <laughs> or my tiny. It's home. a solid idea. Tiny home, great idea. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, that that's good. No, I, I I agree. Get some water. Get some electricity on that property to your tiny ass home. Bam, now I got yeah. this property. I can pay off the taxes for at least two years. How do I make money with this? <laughs> yeah, right. And then figure out how to make money and do something creative with it. Of course. I'll be like, yo, let's open up uh, some sound stages. But Dude, in the, really? In the part where you can't see and it's just your property. <laughs> but that, but see, again, I, I assumed, I'm like, well, the three of us are probably going to go for stability. Like, because it's, again, everybody feels like they're running in place right now. That's yeah. kind of still where we're at. So that does that yeah. answer does not surprise me at all. Over to you, Mike. I would take... 50 and throw it into something for stability. Sure. Of course, because sure. that's what you want. Who doesn't you want, want passive it? income. Ultimate. Yeah. So, yes. Passive income is the best income. Mm. And then get, um, get, get wealth slow. Then I'd take um, the rest and I'd have a little bit of fun with it. You know, yeah. take, the, take the wife on a really kick ass um, vacation. That's mm -hmm. number one. And then two, um, I, would, I would fund a bunch of your guys' stuff. You I'd would, like, wouldn't you? I actually would. You would. I, I, would, I believe I, that. You know what? I would let you see, guys make fifty one thousand dollars movies. See, but, but we could do it. We could. We do could it. do it. They're Penny Flex. You <laughs> kidding? <laughs> you kidding? And I would, suck it, Netflix. We got Penny <laughs> Flex. I, oh I think that because um, right now I I can't talk too much about it, but I'm right. in the process of universe building, mm -hmm. which is right. so goddamn fun. Mm. And um, I I take a bunch of money and fund that too, because mm. you know what you you just have to find the 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 talent. You gotta you totally. know, harvest mm -hmm. that talent and get it going. Right. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's where I'm at with reinvesting it in in the the extended community mm -hmm. of people we know because it's like there are so many people who bring so much to the table. It's like well, we need to we need to exploit that in the mm -hmm. most positive way possible. Is yeah, and it's getting the opportunity to write for the lady. She has to have the best. Of course. I mean, uh, I don't know if you didn't like the all inclusive. Maybe we're more like. Oh, you mean like. That, like, that like, like a all drive around yeah. the country no, no, in a I camper? Do, I, I do that shit. No, no. <laughs> what? What am I going to go fucking solve people's uh, like murders and stuff? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, that's that's my retirement, yeah, motherfucker. I mean, that's I, what I'm. <laughs> all right. Well, I assumed that universe building was like your version of the Hardy Boys where you and Jules go Zapsic, out and solve where crimes. are you? Over here? But. No, universe. Having said that, yours for free if you want to do that. That's oh, that's an idea that you. is all yours. Oh, you you've got um. Uh, an I, the I own the intellectual there. property of you and your wife. There it's, you go. The Zapsic <laughs> Boys. Oh my God! But it, it. Actually, my parents own the intellectual property for that. Jeez. So yeah, so that. Well, I'll see them in court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure um, you will. So <laughs> maybe. We may have to really order her. That sounds anyway. weird. It's a little bit. Um. All right. So to to wrap it all up, <clears throat> because we're we're just doing this uh, for for this year that's it having said that though I, the, my goal is to do a a filmmaking special uh with regard to the out by the end of the year which will be available uh for public consumption Ooh. uh by the end of the year which is kind of like code for december but you know we'll have to see the way festivals and whatnot plays out mm. um so i would like to do a, a comprehensive special about what the journey from that has been like and also you know christian being a part of that and uh, kind of everything we've done from the making of it to the film festivals and everything that's kind of come about. That's that I feel could be very helpful because I've had a lot of people ask me about my experiences. So I feel like us doing a collective thing, hopefully the, the group of us can get together and talk about the entire experience Absolutely. Um, from putting it together to the, the end of the festival run, which will be over by the end of 2024. Um, but that's awesome. <clears throat> thanks, man. Uh, so 
to wrap it up, uh, by the end of 2024, of course, excluding that it's an election year in politics and all that other stuff, what would you guys like to see come to an end by the end of the year? Things you'd like to see go away. I have a long list, but I'm going to confine it to three. Okay. okay. Number one, everyone's backing into parking spaces, and I don't know why. I don't like it. Are you I offended? Feel like everybody, it doesn't offend me, but it's just you're holding up everybody. Like when you're backing out of a space, that's fine because it means there's a benefit to people you know, around you. You're leaving so we can go pull in somewhere. When you're I'm backing sorry, up, you, no. when you're backing in, you're literally just holding up traffic. I think and being whiny about I that. I think I may, I may be a grumpy old man about that, but I'm like, it, it's, I don't understand. Oh, you want to be a valet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. I'm, I'm Grandpa Simpson now and I get it. That's fine. You know, working my way into, into this decade and embracing it. Um, I, I just don't understand. Everybody wants to be their own valet. I just, I, I don't get that one. Um, I do need also go with, I realize this comes from... <laughs> Someone who says the word dude a lot, but we need to dispense with the word bro being used like a verbal tick. Because bro, bro, I hear that all the time. I mean, bro. but you, it's, it's every, it's, and I'm not just talking about like social media, YouTube videos, whatever, like just in real life, I'm hearing so much. In fact, there was a, a funny incident in, I was in like Target or something like that. And I mean, it's, it's mostly teenagers who I hear saying it all the time. And, you know, like a gaggle of teenage girls calling each other bro is, I find, you know, whatever. I mean, again, similar to dude. But I feel like this is much more uh, pervasive. <laughs> I feel like the bro is insanely pervasive. But there was, um, I don't know, the girl's maybe like 13. I don't know. Everybody younger than me looks looks, looks 13. Uh, with her mother in a store or something, basically. And uh, I don't know what her mother asked her, but I heard her respond with, you know, like, is something, bro? And her mother got mad. She was just like, don't call me bro. Your mother, not your fucking bro. <laughs> and it made me laugh because I don't, I'm, I'm just tired of that word just being overused. You hear it. Any, particularly anybody where they're talking their camera, whether it's on YouTube or social media, giving advice, any guy is like, bro, remember, you need to blah, blah, blah. You need to blah, 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 bro. So when someone's it's curating so, your vibes. I'm really, I'm just like, it, it's, it's, it's a, again, it's like a verbal tick. It's not like they're actually trying to speak to you. It just feel, it's it's used so much that it means nothing. But to me, it's, it's take it. The it, new fucking, um. It's like, yes, it's like, um, <laughs> um that's like, what, it gets like, used like, um, um, yeah, like um, an um. Like, that's exactly fucking, it. You know? Me. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, I say that. You right dig? I'm, 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 it was way worse. No, you didn't. No, you're fine. But people no, I have. You though. know? Yeah. Oh, you know? Uh, yeah. Like a verbal crutch. I, I get it. When I sat and just listened to people. It's like, you know, like, mm -hmm. which one? You know, which one? You yeah. Know. Yeah. You like, know, like which one is it? Like, which one? Like, like yes, yes. But no. Yeah. Which one? Like, like uh, totally yeah, but also no. Goes first. <sighs> Last one. Thing I like to see gone, and granted, these are mostly silly things, but yeah, not too serious. Is the expression lives in my head rent free? It was clever like five years ago, and uh, it's just fucked out. I think, I think it's time to stop using that. Like, it's it's on my mind too much. Like, everybody thinks a clever way of are saying that. Are you saying but just, that it that expression lives in my head rent free? Is yeah. what I'm saying. Um, it's people again, people just use that to death, and I feel like it's it, it, it's enough, it's been overused. I'm over it. You see that. On, and another thing I just see is social media all the time. You know, this scene lives in my head rent free. This meme lives in my head rent free. Shut up. <laughs> it's not as clever. You're not being as clever as you think you are. So I'm over it. That's it. Those are the things I want to see. You guys don't need three, but what is it I you're like? I'm tired of. I segment of yelling at the clouds. Uh, this is very much, yeah, old man yells at clouds. And I understand. I'm, I embrace it. I'm embracing the grump. I'm not going to delve too much into mine, but because it, it's There are kind things of you want to see go away. But I know toxic you. fandom. I'm All right. so over it. Like I'm Man, over I had that conversation it. about that today. Um, yeah. I'm yeah. so over like yeah. people who That's defend something. Like, not necessarily defending something to a degree that it becomes toxic, but mm -hmm. also just uh, the idea that I can't like something if a whole <laughs> collective of people also don't like it. Yeah. Like, God forbid I say I enjoyed the last He-Man cartoon. <laughs> I really did. Like, is that know. living rent-free in your head, Christian? Because it sounds like it is. You saying that it's He-Man, not She-Man, Christian? That's rough. He Masters of the universe. He, bro. <laughs> but I toxic fandom. That's, okay. So that's my thing. That, that's a good one. Yeah. I agree. Mine rings similar to yours, except that instead of bro, it's my brother in Christ. 
Now I have adapted that <laughs> into saying my bringo and cringo because I personally think my brother in Christ is a little bit uh, uh, a little too ham fisted. My bringo and cringo. Well, uh, no, it's just a little gauche at this point. Okay. Now it's time to do something else. My bringo Better and work. gringo. Anything, just not <gasps> my bringo and cringo. Yeah, but the fact that you have to say three syllables to, or four syllables to get the point across mm -hmm. makes it way better than bro because bro it feels very monosyllabic almost like a grunt you could just be like, bro bro <laughs> bro but like a burp that but me uh, me being frustrated with you and then being like my brother in christ mm -hmm. or my bringo in kringo just shut up like that <laughs> that gets the point across one bro just bro bro right? but see that's that's thoughtful oh, again God. i feel like bro is completely subconscious it's like um it's like you know it's like like yeah so my bringo and cringo is actually that is what my vernacular has been including. Hey, has he I dig actually that. use this a lot? Every day. My <laughs> wife in <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> You're living in sin right now. Oh, Sonny shit. boy. Oh, I'll show you my sin. So my original. Whoa. That'll be in the post show. Again, it, tune into Cape Only Fans. Link in the description. Oh, it's a signed wow. first edition. My bringo and cringo. <laughs> We're gonna put that on a shirt. My bringo and cringo. <laughs> I like that. All right, I Mike. I would like, Assuming you just had the one. I would like people to um, just leave. Just, leave. So I could just, go home? So Well, that's... <laughs> that thing? Like, like I, specifically I, I right no now... I podcast yes. for three hours. However, but. that being said, no, there... I'm... Uh, I am a an anti-social socialite. Mm. It's... I, oddly, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I've um, I'm I'm thrown into the spotlight, and I I'm reluctantly I, I thrown into the spotlight. Well, I, I love my job, totally. and I love talking to fellow nerds, mm -hmm. and I love talking to people who I even love talking to the fandom, Christian, toxic or otherwise. However, I I cannot abide the toxic fandom. So good on For you, sure. Christian. I think that these people are. Your cost. Um, yeah. So that's a nice way of putting it. That's beautiful. Yes, thank you. Yeah. However, when it's it's time to go, it's time time to go. <laughs> you know, not and, and this is like I said, not mm -hmm. this specifically, but when I just what I would like to see happen is me saying, "Well, time for me to get. I gotta go and do something. I gotta to, work. For me to politely excuse myself. I just want people to understand that. Go." Yeah, just I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to tell you to leave. Yeah, you you take Basically, slowly no, stepping no away. No longer, no yes. longer. You no, you don't want extended goodbyes. People no are reading more. social cues again. You know yeah. what? Yeah, I, yeah. What, what I would like to. That's yes, definitely. Please. That's a bygone era. Exactly. What I would love to come <laughs> back. Subtlety. It's rather rather than having something disappear. I'd rather have it come back. I would like for people to adopt the Irish fade again. Yeah. You don't have to say goodbye to me, but you got to leave. You know what I mean? So that's, I mean, that's kind of, I suppose. That's a good yeah, one. That's, that's I, good. I have no qualms. Excellent. Say, You're I not mean, mad at that? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I mean, does, but it, it will Mike live. doesn't care how you, you pull in or out of parking spaces. I he really don't. And go. I kind of hope that lives rent free in your head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, this guy at the liquor store has the exact opposite uh, mindset as you, and I wish that he would adopt yours. Once it's over, it's over. Goodbye. Yeah. You know what? Thank you. Come again. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. It's simple. Yeah. It says it. Thank you. Come again. Succinct, easy. Done. Yes. My bringo in gringo. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Amingo. 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 It seems like we were. Uh, hey. Somebody did an Irish fade on us now. Yeah, he did. Awesome. Trying to be discreet. He thought we wouldn't notice. That's beautiful. Yeah, there was a shadow over Silent Bob that has gone away. I don't think we didn't notice. <laughs> no, we've been interviewing the giant Funko the whole entire time. That's right. Actually, his head was right where uh, the beard should be. So I'm like, oh, actually, yeah, that's that, that awesome. kind of works. <laughs> wow, we gotta shave that Funko Bob. <laughs> yeah, it's getting hairy again. Yeah, God damn Silent, Silent Bob's mustache attack. is getting out of control. Anyway, well, thank you guys. For come being again. Part of this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Well, all of you, thank you. Come again, first of all. But uh, thank you guys for agreeing to do this. This has been fun. It has. I, I, awesome. Safe to say we've missed it. 
Been a little while. It's been great. The chaos of, of Cape and laughing, making each other laugh and making you all laugh too. Yeah. Uh, you can follow everybody. Links in the description, whether you're watching us on YouTube or, or listening on your favorite podcast app, you can uh, follow everybody on the various socials. Links in the description. You can follow the show at Cape Pod on Instagram and t- I haven't done this in a while. Instagram, TikTok, and that's also the the uh, YouTube handle. So you can subscribe to the YouTube. I'm running out of gas now. See, we haven't gone on too long. Subscribe on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, dude, that that's was it. just so sexual. That's so, that was like predatory. <laughs> that's the that's Holy been fuck. I that's need been... you to subscribe <laughs> on YouTube. You need to subscribe. And until next time, like, what this the is another. It's a Marvel experience. monster. I know. You know, we're 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 going in a direction here. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the direction is out. Out. I know. I'm gonna go. But we're here. We came back for you all. Cape is back. For now. For now. Yeah, for now. But it, it will be back. I will say that. that to put a button on it, because I was afraid that people were going to say, when I did that kind of 10-year retrospective, that video that went up at the end of last year, I thought people were going to take it as like, oh, I was done with the show. So the fact that the end was set to the Avengers uh, music, the the, the uh, fanfare, whatever it's considered, was why at the end I was just like, oh, in, in MCU style, put Cable Return so people know the show's coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, good call. I feel like, you know, thank you for being part of this is like everyone's going to think I'm done with it forever. But I'm not. That's right. Cape is here forever. We're like herpes. We never go away. So, or do they? Did we find a cure for herpes? Yeah, never mind. Don't look that up. Anyway. We, see, see, I just desexualized the entire thing, Mike. That was the whole point. You're over it. Okay. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> Christian just wants to be cut out. He's like, can you trim the frame and just edit around me? Because it's enough already. Thank you all for watching and listening. Uh, we will be back in the future. Who knows when, but we'll be back. But we thank you for checking it out. We've enjoyed being back. Thank you, guys. I love you all. I'm glad you're here with me to do this. This bit of nonsense. So, until next time, whenever that may be, for Christian Cordez, Chris Matt, and Mike Zapsik, this is Chris Abalo and this was yet another experiment.